Thank you for the sub, Kenny.
What's up, fellas? Thank you, Tanker. Thank you. Welcome, we'll everybody. Very, very Welcome very to By the Fire. We are now unmuted. Cheers, guys. By the way, Tank, it looks like on, on my cam, there's a little bit of a uh, Mark as Red profile thing going there. Doris, but, sort yourself out. Production team in the back. We're, pay we're paying them in uh, manner, so apologies if they're not so excited. Uh, but welcome to the show. It is me, Absolute Tanker, and my bro host, Mark T, today. How are we feeling? What's up, guys? Very, very excited for this today. It's been a long time coming, honestly. So as a lot of you guys know, I'm sure I've been doing the weekly recaps uh, the past month or so. So each Friday, I've been recapping everything going on in the Vulcan Forge ecosystem. Uh, but this past week, especially, like it's nearly impossible uh, uh, to keep up if you're not in Discord all the time. 10 plus announcements a day. It just seemed like it'd be a lot to continue with the videos I was doing previously. So had the idea to get Tank in the mix, start a podcast. There's really nothing out here like this yet for the Vulcan Forge ecosystem. And we all know how incredible, how life-changing this whole thing is. Probably the best community in the entire crypto space. And honestly, Tank, I think it's about time that, uh, that we're getting this started here. Yeah, I think it was only a few days ago. Um, and look, I think the community, without even directly asking, has needed something like this for a long time. Um, and this is just the beginning. You So you approached me a few days ago. And I think even before you finished the, the question, I was instantly, uh, you know, agreeing and signing that contract with you. Um, so, oh, yeah. yeah, we're here. Uh, we'll hopefully have uh, some excitement today, some good discussions. And this is the start of something really solid, in my opinion. Um, and like I say, filling that hole uh, where... You didn't know there was a hole. Yep. And uh, so, so my, to start guys, I was doing the weekly recap before. These are going to do one episode a week. Um, whether it's Friday, Saturday, we were supposed to be live yesterday. We're doing it today. Um, that will be more concrete, but we really want this to grow over time into something much bigger than just a once a week podcast. You know, um, want to have a ton of community involvement, really appreciate um Vulcan for sponsoring the Vulcan Forge content creators giveaway, if you guys haven't seen that already. Um, so be on the lookout during this episode for a, a secret code coming from Tanka that you can use to enter into that giveaway for an additional entry. And um, I don't know, Tanka, I figure since we're, we're going to be doing this also often, it makes sense for our viewers to get to know us a little bit better. So right. why don't you start off really quick, just a quick intro of yourself. Like an interview. And how you, discovered, uh, how you discovered this incredible project. Like a meeting, like an AA meeting. Like my name is... Okay, great. All right. Well, do, do you want to start or, or should I? You, you go ahead. I'll, I'll follow okay. up. Um, where it all started, um, I would like to shout out Howard, uh, Pirate Howard. Um, he told me about... Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I can't wait to look back through the message, but he told me about it. Uh, I dug deeper. I had a look at some of the, you know, blockchain games out there. Um, and then I went back to Vulcanverse and I went back to the other games. And I don't think there was a comparison in regards to the pillars, the, the law, the authors, the leadership, the communication, the community, uh, the ambition. So I wanted in. I bought a couple of pieces of land. Um, and won an Astorian. And really, I owe the Astorian everything because I sold that beast for, I think it was about 160K, 160K vet, Mukti. Like, I could, it's like an island right now or something. It's worth an island. It's an incredible story. I think, we're, I think we're peaking the audio as well. So uh, we'll try and get, you know, if there is some feedback in the chat, let, let us know. We'll try. We're not going to focus too much on the chat all the time, uh, but as much as possible. So yeah, the Astorian, 160,000 vet. And then of course we yeeted, you yeeted that. We yeeted that uh, back in uh, to the market. Um, we sit here today quite pretty. We did have an exit plan though, Mukti. We did oh yeah? Have, yeah, we had an exit plan, but man, yeah, like, did it. I've fallen in love uh, with this place. Um, I've been reaching out of my comfort zone 
and just having fun creating and uh, meeting hopefully lifetime friends uh, in my opinion and colleagues you never know um, and yeah so we're here today and really I don't know where the future leads and um, I think the most important thing for me is the community like I think the people that I meet and if I can people can help me on my way and I can help them on the way that is that is probably the most important thing for me um, the game and everything of course but I want to see everyone else grow I want everyone else to see you know, be happy and and to prove the ambition which is played to earn and I'm excited to see that story evolve really so that's yeah, you, thank that's you. it yeah awesome man a uh, little bit of back a little bit of background about myself guys been a gamer my entire life like as long as I can remember as a kid I was super into Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon like CCGs those kind of games found World of Warcraft when I was seven or eight because my older brother played and was addicted to that game for years especially like uh, my eighth grade year going into like sophomore in high school my life was literally school World of Warcraft rinse and repeat the few sports I played um, and then I got into crypto the, the past couple of years I, I'm 24 now uh, I've been playing poker since I was 18 and that's kind of been my main venture for the past few years. A few of my poker buddies got me into crypto. And my investment strategy for a little while was always just to play poker, move my profits into beaching. And that's what I was doing for 12, 12 to 14 months, I would say. Um, Follow this guy named Ron Dalton on Twitter, who puts real awesome, uh, awesome Twitter account to, to follow VeChain related news. Um, and then I saw there was this project called Vulcan that was the number two burner on the VeChain blockchain. I decided to look into what it was, uh, discovered Balkanverse, the blockchain MMO. I kind of looked into how that game was going to work. And, and I've always, it really just felt like something I've always wanted because, you know, I've been playing video games my whole life and have always been after being able to play games and make a living from my gameplay. You know, how, however that could go down, whether it's going pro or playing a gambling game similar to poker where you can make that happen. But it's something I've always wanted. And as soon as, as, soon as I saw this, what's being built here, uh, just Vulcanverse alone was enough to blow me away, uh, let alone Vulcan Forge as a whole and everything else that's going on in this ecosystem. Um, it's, it's really mind-blowing. I'm sure all you guys know in the community here how uh, incredible and special of a project it is. Still very much in its infancy. And it was, yeah, it was just very easy. I did my research. Um, and sooner or later, my entire VeChain bag that I had spent 12 to 14 months to build up has been entirely shifted into this project, as well as the majority of my other crypto holdings. And uh, yeah. there's just, the idea to uh, you know, invest in yourself and in NFTs you can use and earn more uh, rather than just letting your money sit and grow in some project. Like this is a much more active investment to a large degree. And it's, you know, virtual fantasy world blockchain mmo blockchain ccg auto battler the whole the whole mix uh it's just a perfect investment for myself and uh yep there was a little bit of background about how i got in into this project guys so um, do you like um that poker obviously i would i would i would assume was something that gave you the ability um because because do you mind asking me asking how old you are mukti I'm 24. Cool. I mean, yeah, I think the, you know, no matter how old you are now uh, and other people, this is just such an opportunity to do something revolutionary in a way, you know, to play a game and earn money. Like what That's an opportunity. And poker is similar. You know, once you're at legal age, you can play poker and do something you love and get uh, earn money from it, you know? So, mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's what I've always wanted. And, yeah, the, the, the cool thing with this is is the, just the there's so many different ways to play to earn and it, it's going to get to the point where similar to world of warcraft how you know there's professions and you can go and you like uh kill mobs to farm leather and you use like however much leather to craft into this upper uh material that's that's worth more it's like there's going to be a marketplace but there's real world value associated to these assets that are getting exchanged on a regular basis um, and it's, it's not anything the world has seen before, at least not on this scale. So we, this is really cutting edge. We're right on, right on the front lines of, of this kind of gaming revolution. And it seems like only a matter of time till 
people are going to start to figure out um, how little sense it makes to devote so much time into uh, games where you can't earn versus you can you can be er- earning with the time you're you're putting in in your efforts and energy. Um, yeah, I'm optimistic on, for that for sure. Yeah, and, and on a scale like this, I, I mean, with with the play to earn pool, obviously right now at the current PYR price, when it's in the five dollar range, it's fifteen million in the play to earn pool is getting released over um, twenty four months. But you know, if we see a ten x from PYR, which I think is almost inevitable, uh, whether it's you know, uh, you know, two months, six months, or a year, who knows? But I I, I can't imagine it doesn't happen. That's now one hundred fifty million in rewards that are being played for in these games, in this ecosystem, $150 million. You know, that's, that assumes a 10 X of course, but it's just nothing like this exists. You know, it's, it's world-class one of a kind. Um, and a main reason why I'm so excited about this podcast and this show is just to, uh, have more community, community interaction, a place for, you know, community members to hang out, get all their info. Um, and cause what I was doing before I was doing these videos, it was kind of just me reading off of the screen. Uh, getting the information uh, to the viewer, like one, in can- one take. By the way, I mean, like of the videos I've done, you know, fifty takes for every ten seconds. I don't know how you would roll through. You're so comfortable doing it, so it was a, you did an excellent job because they were one take, right? Or did you, you know? Yeah, pretty much all in one take. Yeah, I mean, um, professional. Yeah, I try not to put too much pressure on myself to make things perfect and just. I think that's just it. go through. If it doesn't turn out, you know, it's not great. But I, I just thought that uh, turning this weekly recap into a podcast and, and displaying the information to the community through like a dialogue, us chatting back and forth, getting other community members in, in here every now and then to, to, to discuss things, just it would just be a way more fun way to, uh, to discuss everything going on in the ecosystem than the way it was happening previously. So, can I, can I add to everybody. that? Can I add to that and say oh, like, course, um, course. you know, it was only a few days ago you approached me um i think you know mukti has helped and this is something i always held but mukti's you know drilling into me that try not to look for the perfection because you know improvement and growth will happen um but for the community as well we do want community involvement i think you know strong we're stronger together i'm pulling that from the bga uh alliance uh but stronger we're stronger together and we are not just here to lift ourselves to new levels we want to do it for everyone else around us for me personally that's very important and um yeah uh we get a doggy now like why are we not like a thousand viewers we've, we've got a cute dog on stream where's the hot tub that's all i'm i think that's what people well, are asking Level i see lumpy was confirmed. asking for the dog lumpy was asking for the dogs in there i got this guy's bink he's a he's yep he's a <laughs> level seven uh level seven corgi I also have a, a beagle, Boba, who is who is somewhere not nearby. I'm, but... I'm sure they've got something to say today. We'll hear from them. Mate, don't do that. We'll hear, we'll hear from soft. the pup shortly. I'm getting all soft. The fire inside me is turning into jello. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is this is going to be, you know, Vulcan forged everything, we hope. And then, you know, who, who knows where it leads. At the end of the day, this is a community we, we'll talk about um, much stuff, but mainly Vulcan forged. Um there's a sorry can you hold on a second i've got i've got a voicemail here do you mind if i just take this Mark T? oh of course man yeah oh okay wait hold on it's it's george from crypto he's left me a voicemail hold on this could be good uh absolute tanka talk about nfts have you heard of vulcanverse it's going to explode new coin launch yes, boys. No, hype no i have not heard of it oh and well, I now really you have. don't like the sound of na- the name of it <laughs> All right, move anyway. Whatever, look. The guys are the guys are noob to crypto. He does he doesn't really know what he's talking about. So let's move on. Should we um, should we talk about what we're gonna do today? So we're gonna essentially we're doing the recap, right? But two point yes. Um, so I'll be hosting and producing today. Um, and Mutzi's the god for recapping. I can't keep up with the chat anymore. Um, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some quick switching here. And really, I want to jump in uh, to, and if you've seen, and I think we could probably share with you the um, the today's plan as well, guys. So we'll just we'll just do that, and hopefully we can smoothly do it. Look at that, beautiful. 
Okay, so today uh, a list of the topics of discussion um, and really, should we get straight into it? So what are we talking about with, you know, just the frenzy of announcements? What Really what happened there? I mean, Jamie, stay yeah, well, up again or what? I, I mean, I think what we're starting to see happen here is there's been, I'd say one thing about this project that appeals to me more than anything is j just how uh, the focus is on getting the games out and ready. There's 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 not much of a marketing push right now. There's not much uh, unnecessary hype being built. You know, just because the team understands uh, having a like a, like a really strong working product is you know necessarily essential. And we're starting to now see as we approach the the release of of beta the game Berserk on May 10th, things are really starting to ramp up here. Mm -hmm. And and Jamie is not holding back on the bombs being dropped in Discord. Like, if you guys were in there pa uh, this past week, you can see. Um, I, what, I've been saying it for weeks now. It seems like every single week that passes, the announcements just keep getting bigger and better. And uh, I don't expect it to slow down, really, because there's still a lot of stuff that's up to speculation that we don't know. Uh, that we're like still what? waiting for. Like Jamie what? What are you thinking? Uh, oh, there's, I mean, plenty of plenty of things god when various sex. God stuffs, uh how, how like the one thing i am most curious about is uh so the gods benefit you across the entire vulcan forge ecosystem we only know their buffs for vulcan verse i'm curious if there's going to be ways they benefit you across the other games as well sure is one thing. uh it, but you know there's a there's a whole bunch of stuff uh that still has to be um released i guess so we know exactly how there's still 50 ways of earning lava to, to be released and i just expect more and more announcements to pick up as we get closer and closer to beta release um did, just did you oh yes okay so yeah one of the subjects there is the slava i'm excited to talk about because we me and me and Maxi haven't really discussed uh, a lot of this uh really so um first things first should we just confirm that everyone in here is involved in the giveaway i mean we've seen the prizes and as vulcan is vulcan does is very generous um yeah, big shout out to vulcan for big vulcan for that we didn't ask for it we were gonna we were gonna offer i think you were gonna offer all of your land mukti was it <laughs> yep one winner no but one i think winner. we we were gonna donate i think you know we we've had a fair share of wins or you know luck in the past um and it's a good way to start and big up glitch for uh the the gleam it's a great way to raise attention to us uh yeah. shout out glitch glitch viking yeah he really helped us out big time with this uh, appreciate that a lot man and all the content creators at the end of the day like it's not like we want recognition uh but we um my opinion might see i love organic reach i love the organic freshness of it you know if, if a marketing or something comes from within the community at no cost to vulcan as you know minor surprises i think that that holds strong um and also it helps us the content creators develop real life skills um and then for example for the lovely subs maybe i'll buy your land you know what i mean so don't forget the giveaway uh, if someone could drop a uh exclamation point giveaway on the chat then uh yeah you can you can drop in that and make sure you got all your entries yeet that motherfucker excuse me yeah, lots, lots of great prizes up for grabs here guys so definitely hop in there if you haven't already so yeah that's the giveaway i mean what else is there to say about that thank you lumpy, lumpy just put it in there nice There's, uh, i'm gonna try to be like watching chat during this too so i you know i've got it here you know it's uh it, it, you know if anyone wants to we'll, we'll figure out some uh mods in the future i'm sure this is going to be a regular thing so again down up to the community would be really great uh involvement in in the future um should we jump into uh what we want to talk about i'm really excited to talk about the next one um are the um and you know what's funny <laughs> little slip there what's funny is i don't actually have the rewards um so let's just, if you could send me a picture, Mukti, of uh, the rewards, I would forever oh, be grateful. Oh. Yes, please. I think I think I swapped it for the Gleam. Um, Doris, production. Go. Let me uh... just find that because I'm actually quite excited about this. I think a few people were 
quite quite shocked with the 10,000 lava, right? Level, you know, leveling your avatar, not being able to, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, yeah. but you can't upgrade your land to level two until your avatar is level two. So that, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's correct, yeah. So immediately we have a... Um, if you can send me the picture, though, that would be a lovely... Oh, no, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me the pick. It's, uh, yeah, we should get that up on the screen so uh, so everyone can see what we're looking at. All right, so, uh, copy image. Do you have the impossible to commit? No, we do not. Sleep. Okay, here's the first 30 ways, and I'll pull up the last 20. Fantastic. Okay, you legend. So let's just try and do a zoom on this, and we'll talk about it in depth uh yeah like i said ten thousand seemed pretty scary but it's gonna be so it's gonna be simpler is all i can say yeah and, and i mean one thing that i think is really cool is just the variety of different like there's there's not uh necessarily one set in stone way of the best way to earn lava at least may, maybe some uh some strategies will present themselves once everything is out and we know for sure but there's so many different ways to earn lava uh and it's it's uh it's cool because one of the one of the biggest things that keeps players coming back in MMOs is like a sense of, uh, you know, like like a checklist of things you need to do each day. You know, like dailies is a big thing in, in World of Warcraft and a lot of other MMOs. And uh, assuming that these lava things are going to reset every 24 hours, or I'm sure there will be some type of cooldown period, uh, but it gives people incentive to be logging in every single day and, and getting their essentially daily quest done, which is all, all the various ways to earn lava. Um, like complete 10 successful forges in a day is getting you 30 lava. Uh, we don't need, no, we don't need no stuff like cool downs and stuff, do we? So we really don't know that how yeah, that will. And that's another thing about, yeah, like uh, there's still a lot of information to, to be released, uh, about many various aspects of the, of the game and ecosystem, which is, which is another reason why I'm not expecting the announcements to slow down anytime soon. I'm sure the next couple of weeks are going to be just as crazy as, as any previous have been. I uh, just want to reverse because I know that she's going to be some viewers in here that do not maybe the first or second or a hundredth time if they're a friend of mine not involved. don't know why you're not involved, by the way, uh, in the verse. So we have, you know, Vulcan verse and it's a play to earn pool and lava. Um, can we explain what lava is uh, simply put? I, how I like to explain it, it's, it's basically like rewards points or, or experience points kind of. So the... Uh, I guess not the goal of the ecosystem, but the whole play to earn aspect, how that works to a large degree is you play the various games in the ecosystem, accomplish various tasks, and you earn lava, these reward points. Once you get that lava, you can then use it to plug into Vulcanites um, to upgrade their stats, or you can stash it and get a larger share of the play to earn reward pool each month, which it's two, uh, 5 million PYR tokens over 24 months. I think it's 208,000 tokens per month. And that's just a flat rate play to earn. If you earn 10% of the lava of all players in the game, you would get 10% of the entire rewards for that month. So and what's the reward pool? What do you get? What's that reward pool? It's it's 5 million PYR. That gets PYR. released. Uh, two, I think it's 208,000 per month over 24 months. But that's not even the whole thing because uh, fees, marketplace fees, as well as uh, Titan and Olympian upgrades, and I think land upgrades as well. All those fees get thrown into the re reward pools as well. And it's there's going to be a ton. To, like people don't realize how much money is going to be is going to be up for grabs in this ecosystem. It's it's actually insane. Do you have a? So I've 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 maybe I don't know if it's avoided or not thought about. I you know I'm looking for the live day right, and I get in, and I start playing, right. I don't have like a plan at first. I'm actually quite yeah. happy the fact that. We'll need ten thousand to level up our avatar, um, because you know it's, I'm thinking other people have uh, have gone okay immediately. I want to level up my land or level up this avatar, and I'm like, whoa! I don't want to. I don't want to stake. Do I want to stake all of it? But I, I don't have to make that decision uh, straight away, which is great. Is that correct? I mean, you can't uh, level up the land. Dash it up. So yeah, but the le is isn't the first real activity has to be uh leveling up the avatar yeah so 
uh, assuming you, you have to have a level two avatar before you can get level two lands, then yeah, I said priority is getting avatar to level two or should be. Then you can level up your plots to two. Then you can use your level two Balkanites. And uh, it just like uh, leveling, like each level gives you just like progressively more pathways to earn because the higher level your land is, uh, the better NFTs you can forge on there, the better Balkanites you can use, which have higher foraging stats, better attack stats, you can win more fights. Uh, so I'd say getting your avatar to level two is definitely going to be a big rush. And, and another nice thing is there's always going to be things to do. You know, there's so many different ways to earn lava. It's it's going to be very hard to. Uh, I've just like seen do one. Everything you can do each day, I'm so, sure, unless you're able to commit a bunch of time. And congratulations, by the way, Mukti, philosopher. Uh, thank you very much. Now, yeah, we have that. Uh, we're going to be talking a little we bit. We'll talk about that. And, well, I can see it's two hundred lava. Too. Yeah, yeah, getting voted in. Yep, two hundred. Very, very uh, nice. Very that, nice. That, that's my, we will be touching on this a little bit later uh, yeah. in in this podcast. But tomorrow there's a quiz, and it's the questions are going to be based on the philosophers that are represented in the Council of Philosophers, uh, I believe, and just various other uh, related. But we'll get more into that in a little bit. But uh, but yeah, thank you, Tag. The, the Council of Philosophers, if, for you guys who don't know, is just a really cool idea that the team did to get some community members uh, who are invested enough in the project and want to support it, uh, some opportunity to, yeah, just so help with up. the decision-making uh, in various parts. It, it, it's kind of like, um, uh, it's like a community board, I guess, is a decent way to look at it. Uh, we'll jump back into it for sure. Um, back on topic, right? Um, and then you could probably tell me to go to the Vulcan classroom. I, I'm treated, you know, it seems like I'm asking you a lot of questions about lava. Maybe I'll go to the classroom for it. But anything that stands out in the uh, in the lava um, leveling here? Anything anything we want to discuss? The berserk. Uh, okay. Berserk. So, well, what, one because I think a lot of these ways to earn it's kind of like you can do it once. So, for example, just looking at this, uh, appreciate someone else's plot five max per day. So you can do that. Then you got to wait 24 hours before you can do it again. The nice thing about Berserk for Arena, any of the games, is you can just spam it all day, every day, and mm -hmm. that lava is going to stop. And there are, are some of these, uh, you know, like I said, you can only do so much. Like log into verse, that's per day. Yeah. Uh, what else do we got? The refer uh, the user, I think, could be huge, of course. If uh, I forget who yeah, did that, it, but the one who went on Elon Musk tweet, and, you know, I think there was a uh, referral, they smashed it there. So if you can get viral um and get a thousand people in like yeah big up you're really pushing that um, yeah there's a good opportunity for lots of lava generation there in the referral program i can see myself it's more the ex exploration for me i will be traveling a lot of distance to see what you lot are creating uh, all the landmarks um yeah for me it's the discovery i guess and the leveling up I'm probably not going to get too much appreciation, but we, we'll try. Maybe we uh, create a starship. Um, yeah, hey, you can always buy your uh, Acadian or I'm looking. or master builders. I am looking. Some... Another another great great thing about that is like people are going to earn off me because uh, I am looking for architects and um, builders because you know some of us are not as uh, as blessed and as creatively. Okay. You know, that, that's a, that's another thing is I, I think as this metaverse really uh, releases and grows, there's going to be whole uh, new waves of opportunities for people in like the digital design space or, uh, you know, like 3D model. Like I know the uh, Fortis, whoever runs the Fortis account has some world class like potions. Like the, there's a lot of opportunity for these uh, types of guys who do who are who are nice with 3D art and uh, people who are invested in this game and aren't very design savvy themselves um i'm sure there will be plenty of hiring going on and, and people working on other people's plots for a little bit of pyr here and there uh there, and there's just, it's just uh going to create lots and lots of opportunities for people i wonder if vulcan has thought about how that business actually happens so whether there is a way to uh, have that business Do you, you know like instead like of smart contract payment system or something Rather yes, it sounds work. complicated, but I yeah, because you know you, you I guess you want to ensure that it's safe. Uh, Safety is a big thing, of course. I'm really, you know, I think it's very important for if we're trying if the game 
uh, and Volcan are trying to eliminate barriers to blockchain and crypto for gamers, we all, we also need to protect these new gamers from, um, the, you know, the uh, the nature uh, of crypto. Yeah. But so yeah, like having right. a building, having an inside house, in house, but a safe communication and and, and uh, business channel maybe. But yeah. Anyway, yeah, off interesting. Topic. There's a lot of different I, things I could come out with that. Well, I'm I'm just on protecting and you know stopping those OTCs. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Jamie's watching. So, <laughs> uh, anything else on here then? So I think this was the early one, wasn't it? Or was this the later one that was released? I think this is the later one, isn't it? So make that a friend connection. Like what does yeah, that mean? So friending one other mortal in the verse, I would assume. Yeah. A lot of easy lava to be made here, but obviously only one time. Uh, join a quest. I have no idea what the quests are going to be yet. That's exciting. Screenshots of lands. That's going to be, I suppose you're going to really want to start creating a list of things to do daily. Um, visit four quadrant landmarks in a day. Easy for me. Like I said, the discovery of it, 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 it for me as an explorer, that is me. This is me all over. Uh, beat yeah, four yeah. different quadrant vulcanites in a day. What does that mean? Beat four different quadrants. Oh, oh like vulcanites. The, uh, yes. You find a duel and come out victorious. But yeah, one thing that is going to be really cool, especially at the beginning when the world first gets launched, is all the uh, exploring dailies to get that lava. But you'll be able to see all the new plots getting built and put together, uh, like as that happens in real time. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to to the exploring uh, and going through the verse I, and all I, that as well. I can see that in a stream. Um, you know, us doing something, something, exploring the build, and I really looking oh, forward to seeing how it evolves. But hopefully, it's captured. You know, like getting the early days and the historical like footage is important. Yes, uh, you... I see in the chat, Cottle Queen asked, "Do you need a Vulcanite to play?" Uh, what I usually tell people is, you don't need any prior investment to play these games. But when you invest in an NFT, it opens up multiple different pathways to earn, uh, other ways to potentially earn. So you don't need a Vulcanite. Uh, but Vulcanite gets having a Vulcanite gets you access. Uh, well, I guess first off, everyone gets a free level zero Vulcanite. It's not owned in the form of an NFT, but just for signing up, making your account, there's eight you can choose from. Uh, the first one you pick stays with your account lifetime. So make sure, yeah, and Tank is pulling them up here. So these are free, non NFT, and you can fight with these, uh, forage. They can defend your land. All, all the things normal Vulcanites can do, they're just not going to be as strong. But if you buy uh, an NFT Vulcanite, they typically have better attack skills, better foraging skills, and they will just give you more opportunities to forge better NFTs, beat more Vulcanites in fights, which earns you more lava. Uh, you know, so by invest in the the one of the best things about this project is the utility of the NFTs because you, you always hear about saturation in the NFT space and NFT marketplaces, and because really it's like it, you know digital art is cool. You can own these pretty 3D designs and pictures. But if you can't do anything with them, I really just don't give a shit, you know? Like whether Some I people do. Really cool, whether I own this cool like 3D picture uh, or someone else owns it, like I can still see it. I don't need to own an NFT, but if but if this NFT I own, I can go and play a game with and it's it's earning me money and it's it usable. me all these different things to do and exactly. There's like there's uh, really I own a GeoCat, uh, my avocado and it's the first time I appreciate it as an NFT as an art collectible. It was a moment I had. I, I felt that even though it will be usable, I could own it and enjoy it for what it is. And like art is art. It's very popular, of course. People just want to own a piece of art, sometimes whether it's uh, the original or not. But yeah, the, the, the huge difference here is that these are usable. These are in-game assets that you can not feel, you can virtually play with, right? Um, yeah, huge, huge difference between... Between I, I don't mean to trash on like you know baseline nfts at all it's just um you know for myself i never would you know drop thousands of dollars on an nft that had no utility yeah. you know i know plenty of people do and it's it's definitely a growing space there are a lot of very cool nfts out there but projects that they're with N nfts that have real utility and give people ways to earn those are you know the projects that are, are really going to succeed and this project has it in spades uh, you know, because the the more the better the NFTs you have, the more ways you have to earn, the more share of the lava reward pool you're getting each month, which you know, fifteen million dollars over two years, but it's it's really going to be way way more than that. 
uh, when this is all said and done. Uh, so it's it's like I've said, it's there's nothing like this has existed before. It's it's incredible. So uh, how do we want to do? We want to continue through the lava rewards. How do you feel? Do we want to, you know? Uh, I think we've, I think we've given people good enough luck. Yeah, the point there's, a there's, lot. there's a lot of different ways to earn the feature on the Vulcan different. radio, ladies and gentlemen. I think there was mentioned how that's going to work, right? I think. See, there's a difference between producing or hosting to featuring. What does that mean? Like your song, or but I think he, uh, Jamie clarified that it was, yeah, your your ho as a host, right, or as a. I, I haven't, uh, he very well may have clarified, but I, I don't think. Yeah, I think I heard that, but um, oh, man, the, 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 just, that's one of the top five things I'm most excited about is the radio, but that's a lot. 200 lava, fantastic. M mounting your first Vulcanite, that's only, I mean, I don't think I can mount my owl, can I? No, right now I think Thunder's the lowest level at level four that's okay. rideable and the only level four, I'm pretty sure. And then I don't know if it's been confirmed that Copious and Nemean are rideable. Not sure. No. Uh, Ride a Vulcanite for five kilometers in a day. So I would assume that's on a rideable uh, Vulcanite. Win 30 battles in a day. Forage successfully. That's going to be easy. I can't see. I mean, I'm sure someone's done the calculations, but I can't see these 10,000 uh, lasting long. You know, I think we're going to reach these with a grind uh, yeah. quite easily. Oh, it'll be the grind. I want to do the math on how many uh, Berserk games I can get in a day. Assuming the average game is, uh, sometimes they go quick. Like sometimes you, if you get off to a hot start and your opponent doesn't, you can have a five minute game. But I'd say on average, it's probably 10 to 20 minutes per game. It yeah, it can be. It, it certainly uh, can be. Uh, less... Yeah. Less if you're, uh, you know, unlucky matched and stuff like that. Yeah, not That's winning something. as much. But yeah, you could probably earn a decent chunk of lava each day. And, and also, another thing to keep in mind is once all the games are out, you can have Berserk and Forge Arena on one screen, Vulcanverse on another screen, Cattle, uh, cattle Pets, Geo. Like, you could, it, really, you could have like eight monitors, each one with its own game, and you're just like. You're saying eight. Monitor. So you're saying eight. I need, do I need to, you're saying I need eight? I mean, you, you can maybe get two games on one screen. At least the browser based. So one six. Gets. Okay. Yeah. Four. So, but I mean it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to see the like the lava leaderboards and how people are earning. I, I imagine lots of people are gonna be spamming a bunch of games all the time because that's just the most efficient way to, to So be, I'm just looking for like, a screenshot. We'll um we'll move on to the um reward pool. Okay, I think you wanted to do so. I think if I, this is with we're going to talk about this is of course the reward pool for Vulcanverse specifically, and then obviously the announcement today. I don't know if you know Mukti, but Jamie has doubled the prize pool for Berserk. I did see that. Okay, which is awesome. Sixty k prize pool. I mean that's uh. For, for an online blockchain CCG, you don't see that very often. It reminds me of like poker tournaments with with uh, X amount of guaranteed in, in the prize pool. It's very cool that they're bringing that to to a CCG. And I, the Berserk tournaments are going to get really competitive and really fun. And I, and I hope they're uh, they're run on a relatively regular basis. But that game is is going to be it's just going to bring about a lot of competition and and. You know, so how does it feel for you? Um, you know, obviously you were prior world champion. Um, I don't know why, by the way, you don't you didn't shout about that all the time. I'd probably print a t shirt with that on and walk around town. But uh, I, do I you feel like did you hold that close that win? How did that not feel? not really? Cause, I mean, honestly, I, I want like I felt very lucky to win that tournament because there were uh, I came in set like that. I came in the day to the top eight in seventh. And right. a lot, uh, sometimes it, it really just comes down to variance to a degree and who, who gets dealt better cards. But And I also felt it was a little early because back then everyone was able to use every card in the game. And so yeah. I was you know, using cards that weren't necessarily mine. Uh, but yeah, it was very cool. I mean, I was I was just thrilled. Uh, I felt so, so lucky to win that tournament because uh, I got a Cronus out of it. And I, Oh, I really, damn! Yeah, I'm... And, and, that's what's so cool about Berserk is I think a lot of if it's PYR or NFTs in the prize pools, you know, having a Berserk deck is or a strong Berserk deck is going to open up many different pathways to earn various things as well. Yeah. Uh, so just another amazing aspect well, of the play. To earn. 
I sold mine uh, for a couple more land, so you know, I've got a few left. But we'll see. We'll see how that evolves. I'm really excited for Berserk and seeing how we can build decks. But that's a, that's another conversation. So like, they just look like big numbers for me, right? These twenty million. Um, but you say at the beginning, it's really, you know, people don't understand the scale. Are you able to break it down to a simpleton like me? How actually, like, it's twenty million. How many are play? I, th just off the top of my head, I'm thinking, well, surely is per month, is it divided by the amount of players? Yeah, so it's if you play and you are in one lava, you're in the play and reward pool and you will get uh, a very tiny share, but you'll get your share. So it's of all the lava generated across all players, the amount of lava you earn, whatever that percentage is compared to the pool uh, as a whole, so if there's 100,000 lava earned in a pool for a month and you've earned 1,000, or, or sorry, yeah, if there's 100,000, you've earned 1,000, then you get 1% of the rewards for, the, for that month. So that we so we want as least players playing as possible is what you're saying. For, for us, I mean, that's what we want, but I, I can't <laughs> imagine. Uh, so it, w one thing... Uh, refer at risk. Very, Risky to refer because it's less for you, you know. Yes, but this is a very cool thing to consider here. So we're okay. currently sitting at right around 100 million market cap, uh, $5.50, we'll say, just for uh, simplicity. Uh, by the way, look below Mukti. We have, that, is, that should be live, uh, live price oh, yeah, update price. of... Uh... So right now, there's about 15 million in, in rewards up for grabs. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more, but you look at Decentraland Mana, they're sitting at 2 billion plus market cap right now, I believe. And... If, if you do a deep dive of the Decentraland ecosystem, the game, gameplay, what that product offers, and you do a deep dive into Vulcanverse, it's, this project is literally superior in every single way. Yeah. You, you can't point out one thing Decentraland has over this project. It's literally nothing. It's, so, and there it is sitting at a 2 billion market cap. If we can, if, when we hit half their market cap, we're sitting at a 10x, we're looking at $50 per PYR, just at half of where the center land is and this project is vastly superior um, basically every single way so we'll catch them eventually we'll pass them eventually hold on but just for... Ho yeah i think i've got it there's another voicemail can you just hold, hold on one oh, another voicemail yeah yeah, can... yeah go ahead man. it's george again might see shall i take it yeah might as well oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what he wants You know, this is what I've been saying. This is what I've been saying about um, NFTs. It's a bit quiet. There's too many marketplaces. There's too many. There's oversaturation right now, which is why right. most NFT plays are not moving anymore because there's just so many out there, right? So I, I don't know if Vulcan Forge is really go pick up from here. I mean, hey, they're uh, obviously big. Yeah, well, they're they're always big, bro. Uh, I don't know. I don't we know. do know. Let's see. Right, Have a look. Uniswap only. Uh, Uniswap so were only added to, let's say, Coinbase. Coinbase, well, yeah. I, I, they're not going to get added to Coinbase. But if they get added to Binance or KuCoin, they could be good. KuCoin. Uh, play, uh. build, collaborate, and bring ideas. Yes. Okay. Ideas coming. <laughs> A lot of games. A lot of games. That's right, George. Could be good. It could be good. Yeah. It well, is good. Maybe pile too. Maybe pile. Maybe pile. That's progress. But like I said, there's, there's oh, yeah. yeah, enough of him. Cut, let's cut him off. Sorry, Mike T. Sorry, Mike T. So it, back, well, back to what you were saying. Like, is, is there any other blockchain games you play? Please do not name them for sake of suing. But I have not played any blockchain games. It, it was intentional. Right. They're very, I, I've a lot of them not fun. Let me tell you that. And I've dipped my tone because for research purposes, you want to kind of see what others and people are playing games that they're not finding fun is back to your point. Yeah, but I mean, and, but you can is... earn games which people love, you know, but the, in terms of the gameplay itself, it's not very fun. And one thing you got to mention to George, if you ever get him back on the line tank up, is He's a busy man. Once, we hit, once we hit half of Decentraland's market cap, uh, and that's a 10x from here, that's $50 per PYR. We're looking at $150 million. 150 million dollars in rewards for playing in this ecosystem that's going to be released over two years like never in the history of mankind has something like that existed for gamers you know and uh 
only yeah, only perhaps yeah, in competitive yeah, play, yeah. right? Where you know, I mean, but here you can yeah, just you in pro gamer. You can be anybody. You don't need. I, I mean, obviously, uh, being used to playing games and, and having skills, I'm sure will help. But you know, pe people love MMOs. People love CCGs. People love auto battlers. And now you can come here, you can play in this ecosystem and you can earn legit money and compete for real prizes. And uh, no other, I mean, you can look as much as you want. No other project on the blockchain it, it can light a candle to this. And yeah. I, I mean, it's really, uh, it's really going to be exciting to see what comes about over the next 12 months. I'm thinking very deep about this subject and um, we're, we're going to, uh, we'll move on to actually it's actually perfect we'll move on to uh, the next top, uh, topic line jamie slash tanker i mean look james uh, but the bga because uh i haven't done a deep research on bga myself um oh someone let's just leave that up there for a minute a bit too late for the friday but their ambition or their mission is very exciting to me <laughs> you haven't seen it so <laughs> The, when I look at it, when I look at blockchain gaming and play to earn gaming, like it get, just this whole project, God damn it, Jamie, has just got deeper and deeper for me because, okay, no one is protesting that, and you know, not not that it's a bad thing that there are games out there you're spending thousands of hours in, right, um, and not really getting anything back. But the opportunity here to, you know, in, in certain places of the world, like the, you know, in the east, where okay. You you'll grind a little bit, but that and 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 some reward, you know, you buy a few things of it, but it's not going to sustain your living. But in other parts of the world, where the value of money is much higher, um, you, you're giving us so much opportunity to people in, would you say poor? Let's say poor parts of the world. Uh, an Absolutely. opportunity to play to earn. I just it, it it blows my mind. So moving on to like the BGA, like I said, I didn't I don't know a lot about them. Um, we've seen them here and there, but I had a look uh, after uh, Jamie threw me in uh, to do the Hades walkthrough. Uh, apparently, it went well. Um, oh, I think you did a great job, Tanker. Definitely, Absolutely. definitely improvements to be had. Um, I didn't really know where I was jumping into, but. I think that's sometimes best just to jump in with it. And I created a little meme for you guys. And, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, Matt is clearly, you know, jealous of my Corsair Virtuosos. Check uh, for the referral link. There isn't a referral link. Just kidding. Uh, but, yeah, the BGA. So, for me, I don't know if you've got any comments on it. But for me, I'm ready to, like, do a deep dive with BGA, their mission. You know, and hopefully in the future connect with these people. Because... Yes, we are the greatest ecosystem out there and will become the greatest ecosystem. But with at the end of it, I see it as trying to create a big play to earn to empower people. And doing it effectively will be through uh, connecting with uh, alliances like this. So I'm, I'm very passionate about it. Um, I should probably tell if people don't really know, just read out their mission. It says to raise individual business awareness about blockchain can transform game. How blockchain can transform games and improve or disrupt existing business areas. I want to go a little bit more into that. And we have all these, uh, what's he saying? Uh, MV on bullet. Oh no, sorry, I thought it was to me. So there's these big developers, billion, billion dollar companies out there, big developers. They're not going to change their ways. They'll probably dip their toe in. They'll probably put a small team on it, but they're not going to change their ways, are they? They're making billions off uh, purchases skins. Why would they limit the amount that they could print? You know, they have a money machine. So it is uh, important that there are new developers such as Vulcan Porsche to step into the market um, and level that playing field and say, well, actually, you know, we could create a game and then have all these microtransactions or whatever, or we can create an ecosystem that's going to give back uh, to the player. And then more will step in, uh, more opportunity, and then that playing field, I think some people are more optimistic than me with time scales, but I think that's a five to ten year at minimum uh, of a balance of developers. And I think it's a, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm becoming quite passionate about that vision because yeah. you're really leveling a playing field and empowering people. Um, I was saying to uh, a friend the other day, like I would sit there and I look at Tarkov that I played for two thousand hours and I'd feel guilt and resentment. What 
I could have done with that 2,000 hours, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, be... I would say. So I'm gonna, yeah. Sorry, I, I waffle on there, but it's actually something that I feel quite passionate about to push that right. ethos and BJ, like on the topic well, dude, of BJ. The one thing I think you touched on that I love the most is how ecosystems like this, and this really is, there's not many out there. This really is one of the first of its kind. They give the power back to the players. You invest in this project. It's, it, there's a reciprocation there. You invest in this project, you get some NFTs. You now have pathways to earn and get your share of this very legit prize pool each month and no other games are offering that you can spend money on skins on upgrades whatever but that that doesn't uh open up new doors for you to to go and earn and so one thing i'm expecting this game to do is really in this ecosystem is just to bring the play back in people's lives which i think a lot of people are really missing and you know it's it's not uncommon to like get stuck in a job you dislike and uh, you know, that carries into your life outside of work and, uh, the enjoyment of life can get sucked out a little bit. I've certainly been there, but just the idea of being able to play these games, have a great community to hang out with, interact with, and even just playing and being able to make a couple hundred bucks a month and pay your internet bills, cable bill. Uh, if you're going to be sitting and, and playing these games anyway, you might as well come to an ecosystem where you have legit chances to earn. And it seems uh, very realistic for people to be able to make hundreds of dollars per month, uh, if not more, with zero prior investment, just from hopping in, playing the games, doing what they can. And, and doing that, getting a little bit of money, being able to work, to, to play. Um, and if you get enough NFTs and, and are invested enough, you, you can really earn some money. Like you can earn some serious money here. Uh, so it's it's incredible for the small players, the big players. Mm-hmm. And- It'd be interesting to see how the little players, the zero to heroes, can do that because I'm very keen on seeing, um, let's say, poorer uh, places and how they, you know, because that's really life changing stuff. A couple of hundred dollars in places is, you know, is life changing. Seriously, yeah, and you know, you just go and forge with the level zero Vulcanite, stumble on a random fragment for a valuable NFT. Put on the MP, a couple hundred bucks, a couple thousand bucks, who knows? Like, Because it will require some, you know, I think you can certainly uh, find something, sell it. You know, you're trying to upsell trade to something bigger and better, and it will require some uh, good capacity to do that. Uh, but thank- thankfully, obviously, the community is generally very honest, or I say generally very honest, right, that they will help you on your way. Um, I've seen that happen. Some people just will yeet. A token, won't they, Mukti? They'll just yeet a token. Won't ask about the community. If they'd have come and asked us, we would have paid a lot more. But uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's been some. Uh, I, I don't know if you're referring to the the cheap tokens that have been popping up on the market. I've seen them, man. Couldn't, I'm too too uh, too that, slow for that. Was this. crazy. If that, if you guys didn't see that, there, I don't know who it was, but I'm pretty sure it was someone who was like a uh, pretty inactive wallet. But all of a sudden, this one day, there were there was a token of the Titans up for like one k fire, token of Olympians up for fifteen hundred, and then the following day, I don't know if it was the same wallet address or a different one, but there was another token up for twenty five hundred, and these the, these NFTs are literally worth ten times what he sold them for. And yeah. so if you're if you're uh, checking out the marketplace and being active there, you, every now and then you can stumble across some really really good. Absolutely. Good steal. Did you want to talk about BJ anymore? That showcase in Vulcanverse. I'm obviously trying to skip over uh, any praise as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, I think BJ is cool. I don't know too much about them. Outside, like, there's really good projects involved, which I can only imagine is good for Vulcan Forged to be uh, linked with them and, and part of that. But yeah, no, I mean, I think you did a great job there, Tank. And Jamie also was on uh, a few days ago. They had another. Uh, thing where he kind of just gave a brief overview about right first. i didn't bring that up i think i was looking at the uh, reviews but yeah i think the quality will we, we'll, um if there if there is another opportunity we'll make sure we go there um a bit more prepared next time uh but we're not worried because i mean to, to ones that may be worried about the quality that's shown this, this is no concern to vulcan like when people have the opportunity to simply do- click that download button and play it's just a no contest um so we do not fear uh, any fudders out there. What's next? None. Uh, let's take a look. So we had first God buff reveals. I'm actually very excited to hop into this. Oh, congr- oh, uh, congratulations to King J that won the plot of land also uh, in that stream. Uh, yeah, 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 that was cool. 
DM me if it yeah. is uh, uh, on, on the River of Sticks, please. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, God Bus. Now I've got I've got everything set up here. What do we What do we want to look at here? Anything interesting? Let's do a little bit of speculation here on uh, on on the strongest one. So really quick, let's just go through. So Hermes here. Vulcan versus Avatar speed increased 10 to 70%, which having a level seven Hermes, you're going to be zooming across the map. There's also another NFT called the Boots of Hermes. I think there's only 25 editions, but that gives you 25% bonus speed, I think, or, or something. Uh, also, the land sowing time decrease is going to be very interesting with, with Hermes too. Um, but still pretty balanced, right? Because you know, you're know you not going to be able to get up to 70 for how long? Her, yeah, I mean, it'll be a while. Hermes just seems like a farming powerhouse because re recharge time of Vulcanites decrease, so you can get more foraging in with your Vulcanites. Uh, land sowing time decrease, so if you farm a seed, if you forage a seed with your Vulcanite, you can then, you can reset your Vulcanite to forage more faster, and you can sow faster. So Hermes definitely is is strong. Very right, very strong. right, but only obviously matters as long as you're logged in at the times, because like you know you want to take advantage of that decrease in time. You'll need to be ready for the next. So essentially, yes, we're doing nothing but playing Vulcanverse. Got it. Oh, absolutely. What else is there to do? Ares. This is the only god I own, so you, it's the best one. Right? That's a good one. That's a good one to have, dude. No question. Uh, the what? The coolest thing I think about, well, obviously, having the attack increase for your Vulcanites is huge. If if you are going, if you don't have an Ares and you're going up against someone who does, there's going to be a slight disadvantage there. But what I like most about Ares is the weapon item power increase and also the chance of finding weapon item by foraging increase. I think I skipped and, over that one. Uh, I didn't see that one. So yeah, and, and another thing that's cool is because different quadrants, I remember Jamie saying something about um, they're going to be more themed to foraging different types of things. Like mm -hmm. I think it was uh, Boreas, more PYR. Hades was going to be like spells and scrolls. Uh, Notice was weapons. And I forget what Arcadia was. Um, but like I'm a notice guy myself or I have an Aries and that's I'm excited like I could maybe look into becoming some type of uh like weapon crafter you know because well, uh, there's a name for that isn't it yeah uh, I guess, is it I mean I guess blacks yeah but you, you're making the weapon you're just finding them aren't you yeah just finding the pieces uh to various weapons and that's another thing like we don't too not, don't know too much uh, about is like armor weapons uh these various different things and and how that's going to work in game too uh but it's it's really cool um how it, it's perfectly themed for Ares. he's the god of war so extra vulcanite damage uh better item weapon weapon item power and better chance of finding weapons makes mm. perfect sense for him super strong god without Love it. a doubt I mean, i'm i'm actually very uh happy i feel like just things are balancing it's been so chaotic with buffs and news and announcements i just feel like things are balancing so no you know i always knew that you'd have to be level seven uh to get the max out of a god uh but knowing that takes time and stuff i think it's just a beautiful balance here because you know you're not going to be able to do everything straight away like a um a whale can just throw all the pyr into all of this stuff and just it's a beautiful thing i think it's just become really balanced so mm -hmm. how, how this is coes is that coes yes yep coes is pretty cool I, as far as we know he's the only god so far um i forget what the trade is called but you can see i think it might be called wisdom or something but you can uh you have the ability to see other vulcanite stats and yep. the ability to the other avatar stats so you i guess that's going to be unknown to players did, unless you have a coes you said oh you can you said you can barely see it but you can right so yeah i'll read it through so coes yeah the ability to see other vulcanite stats um i mean i would assume though you would want to kind of battle anyway right like why you know or i suppose it's if you have a choice well, so let's say you're going for uh wasn't one of the waste turn lava it was like winning five battles in a row Oh, in a uh, row. Got it. So so if you don't have Coas, you're just kind of gambling with who you're fighting against, uh, I guess, or how strong he or his Vulcanite is, Yeah. that player. Uh, but if you have Coas, you can do a, a thorough deep dive on the likelihood of you winning that fight or not. Ooh, and the scroll fragment uh, chance, of course, as well. Yeah, which... yep. The scroll fragment is, uh, is interesting, too. So he'd be a strong god to have in Hades, 
Uh, I think of Hades as the the scroll scroll foraging quadrant. Uh, and yeah, so I guess there's going to be scrolls that give you various buffs. And so it, that reminds me of Inscription from World of Warcraft. You, you know, okay. I don't know if you've been experienced with that game, but nope. you basically craft these scrolls, and you're you they're like active items. You use them, and then your your avatar gets a buff. Your character Got it. gets a buff of, depending on what the scroll is. I think so I, I think it's similar in which there's been stuff you know it's like Witcher and stuff. I think I understand that you can you use it and then the the weapon or something would get a buff in a certain area. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, next one. What else do we have? Poseidon. Fishing, yeah, of course, is, is new. Um, oh, I don't yes. have a coast, but I like to be by the coast. I'm I'm minutes away from uh, the coast here, so uh, I want a bit. I want people a bit of Poseidon. Excited. People are excited for fishing. Oh, cool. and, Water. I, I know, uh, yeah, level seven. Very clever. You can walk on. Or at least rivers. At least you can. But there are bridges. Yeah, people... <laughs> there are bridges now. Well, yeah, we had are... a problem in Hades with the bridges and back. Put the bridges in. Maybe he takes them out. You know, it makes us walk. I couldn't care less. I'd rather take the long route round to see. Uh, you know, the uh, the builds and the uh, POIs. So we've got increased volcanite foraging at ocean plots. So is is that speed or is that what they can gather? I guess. Uh, are you looking at so number three here increase vulcanite foraging at ocean plots uh, oh. But, oh lumpy also by the way mentioned tartarus which or, uh, i think it's tar tartarus tartarus yes uh, and and so the olympians get you into elysium titans into tartarus i'm gonna i'm gonna let you talk about tartarus if you want to and i'm gonna put it on uh, aphrodite for a second i'll be right back uh, hold the line for me, uh, Martin. Yep. I mean, we don't know much about it uh, as of right now. Tart like there hasn't. So Elysium, we know. Uh, I I, I think it's basically the same thing as Elysium. It's just the polar opposite. So Elysium is like the the paradise heaven land where you can, if you have a level seven god, you get access here, or a level seven Olympian, and you can forage um, NFTs from the vaults of Vulcan, which are very strong and valuable NFTs, of course. And then Tartarus is for Titans. And again, I could absolutely be butchering uh, how to pronounce that. So uh, I'm just checking them on, on. So yeah, I think it's just, it's basically the like pits of hell and like the darkest uh, layer of, of hell to my understanding. And so I guess that's where the Titans will go for foraging uh, to get the vaults of Vulcan NFTs. And things like that but again there's still a lot more information on both elysium and uh tartarus to to be released but we know there will at least be that difference between titans and olympians and uh there was one thing on poseidon that i wanted that i was going to mention i can't remember what it was now and tank has got aphrodite up here so i can't see but we'll just jump into aphrodite i guess for now which aphrodite is very cool she's like the uh gives you the most character customization options so you can see her access to fantasy flower assets which we're not sure what that is yet but it's probably just going to be really cool uh flowers you can use if you have her on your land and, and different items you'll have access to um avatar customization weekly unlimited for level seven so you'll have much more customization options than people who don't have aphrodite avatar glowing effect uh 10 to 70 percent that that could be pretty sweet having a level seven Aphrodite and your character uh, having a pretty cool glow to it. So Aphrodite is very much a, um, but when I guess she does have the the recharge time of Vulcanite decrease is is super nice to have on her as well. So she's very much like a aesthetic god. She gives you really cool visual perks, not as many gameplay perks as other gods, but um, at, at least the the recharge time of, of Vulcanite. Like every god absolutely has their own. Uh, I would say some are uh, probably more valuable to have in terms of their earning potential, but each god has their own really cool, uh, unique aspects to them, and every one is like uh, has their own separate buffs. There aren't, there isn't many or too much overlapping, at least, uh, which which is pretty nice. Um, and that's probably the what, like five of six now. So still a lot of gods and a lot of actually interesting stats to uh, look out for. I think the only surprises for me was all of the extras like uh the weapon 
uh, chance, the scroll chance. Like, I just didn't know that yeah. could have been a thing. So they're, they're all Jump back to Poseidon really quick. Here we go. If, yeah, because water, it wasn't watercolor or boat ride. There was something I was going to say uh, about when Poseidon was up. It, I, it may have been something related to fishing, uh, but increased fishing success rates. So yeah, fishing is another thing that it's been confirmed by Jamie. We don't know too much about exactly how it's going to work yet, but I know in other MMOs, different types of fish give you better buffs. You just like consume them and they give your character better buffs. So Poseidon uh, increases fishing success rate. So that very well, if you Poseidon could be another pathway to earn is you get access to these better quality fish and you have a higher success rate when you do fish and you can sell them to give other buffs to people. Uh, and I think... You remember the trade? There was a trading announcement about you know like wood and, and in-house you know non-USD values and stuff. And I think, I could that be the thing, or do, am I missing a point? Like fish, or fish are giving boosts to. So I would say they're that would, they're probably. I actually I don't they I don't think they'd be NFTs. Maybe they would be NFTs. I, I guess they could be NFTs. Uh, uh, and so if you if you get this fish. Um, Although there would, have, eh, it's interesting how they're how they're going to do that. I'm not too sure, uh, like how you would sell another it level, not, another level you know. of something to yeah. discover. I think that covers like, like all the buffs as well. But go on, does. what were you saying? Sure. I was going to say, Drown Phoenix asked. There's a boat for him, right? Yes, Drown Phoenix for Poseidon. You get access to a boat that takes you from Notice to Arcadia. Uh, so you get some boat rides that you don't have access to without him. Yeah, I reckon fishing will, uh, fishes will be traded. Yeah. Uh, so Ali NC says you can probably fish or forage non NFT materials and trade them in game. I think that makes sense. And maybe uh, I wonder if um, there will be some type of system where you can sell fish or non NFT items for like lava, trade it for lava. Mm -hmm. or uh, so you might have missed this, but um, the suggestion was in about materials that there will be a in Vulcan City trading hub. Okay possibly obviously i think it, 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 i think it's a great idea there are other games not mentioning that do it and it's an in-house you know no usd value ways to trade maybe wood for coal coal for, you know and stuff like that um i guess you want to be careful about doing it with lava or not i don't know but i think it's just a great system uh that, that can work out because you know you're going to have all your uh i don't know what you just sand i guess um, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to have all the woods, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I think uh, that's, I'm excited about that because I'll be, I'll certainly be hoarding uh, a bunch of stuff and looking to trade it because uh, we'll need that reward for all our assets as well, of course. Yeah, still a lot of info to come out about uh, like how that marketplace is going to work and stuff, or like the in-game trading hub at least. And also uh, lots of things uh, in regards to Vulcan City are still unknown. So there's uh, definitely could be seeing more announcements sometime in the near future in regards to Vulcan City and how that's going to interact with the game map and stuff and like what you'll need to go there for, et cetera. Uh, do we we know all the gods, right? We know all, we know all of the yeah. gods. Okay. What they will be, yeah, but not all. Not not, all not with it. Yeah, they're not all out. Like less than half or half the total. I think it is. I think it's slightly less than half. Okay. I, I think with with uh, Oceanus, there's now five titans mm -hmm. and uh apollo i think there's six olympians now or i guess it's probably five olympians i think it might be five and five okay i could be wrong i think i found my new favorite though and it's apollo um but like i say i think i, I say this with every single god but apollo I, think I like apollo i like the muse and and stuff like that so um a reminder the giveaway here if you if you guess the word and you put it in chat i'm gonna ban you just waiting for Mukti to put in the word. Um, but yeah, no, so yeet away the word, um, you know, whatever word you're thinking of into uh, the giveaway. Uh, you, Avocado is an excellent guess. Excellent guess. Well done. Uh, next on the agenda, Mukti. Yes. What can we what can we say about it? I had a, um, I had a look. <laughs> So this is actually really funny. I don't know if Jamie, uh, CEO Jamie Thompson, had intended for this to get out during the eGame Rosario interview, but uh, a few days ago, Jamie Thompson, CEO, Jamie Thompson, the author of the game books, were on an interview with 
um, the eGamers.io, I think his name is George, uh, if I remember correctly. As an uh, and then very Greek, yep. Yeah. Yep, and uh, the uh, author, Jamie, teased a, a, a game about Titans versus Olympians that's going to be going on. And then I think it also then was confirmed by Jamie when he uh, started talking then. So we don't know anything about it yet, really, other than it's going to be Titans versus Olympians. And there's also another Vulcan-themed game under development, whether that, that Jamie uh, mentioned. I don't know if that's the same game or, or something else. But, I, I mean, we can expect to see many more games released, uh, you know, over the months and years. And it won't just be the current fleet of the games. There's also eight or nine um, third-party uh, projects that are onboarding into Vulcan Forge here very soon too that are separate from Geo I'm very uh, excited about Geocat it's well, very it's, retro it's, separate. it's actually separate I don't know if you remember from that Jamie you... put it in uh, it's other so the games we already have you know there's Berserk, Geocats, Rec City Forge etc. but these are eight to nine uh, completely separate Others. third party games that are coming in right. in addition to all that uh, we don't know what they're going to be yet but a lot, a lot of stuff is, is brewing here and, and it, like like investing in the PYR token, of course, is investing in so much more than just Balkanverse. Yeah. This is a whole NFT gaming yeah, paradise. Back, back to that stronger together. Like he's, you know, helping on board many several play, you know, games, which is great. Look at your beautiful dog, by the way. Just loving loving life back there. <laughs> he's, he's what's it what's the name? What's his what's her or his name? His name is Bink. Uh a yeah, Bink, yes, yes, I remember. Bink Bink the Poker. Yep. I don't think... the so yeah new new games i think you know i can see us in the future um even going in depth on games and streams this is certainly a recap but i think it's just so much scope for what we can do here um talking about vulcan Verge, forged in general so yeah uh geocats is uh already obviously confirmed and that's something i'm really looking forward to big up chambers yeah. shout out geocats Ge i'm looking forward very to retro i love it i think like I say, the 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 avocado was uh, an NFT of, as an, from an artistic perspective. I could really appreciate, um, and I've never felt that with something that I feel like I own. And um, even though there's you know thirty nine of them or, or ninety nine of them, um, I do love it. And uh, yeah, I've got I've got something geocat. Um, I've got something avocado coming. Let me let me put it that way. We'll, uh, we'll enough said. Enough said. Yep, closed beta. Oh yeah, that that's awesome. I I did manage. There was I got a pretty decent deal on a geo key or whatever that key for the geo uh, geo cats beta. So I have one of those. So whenever beta is out, I will be in there absolutely. And uh, what was it? Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to to touch on about future stream so you and i i mean we're both going to be uh like i at least intend on streaming daily once berserk goes live once all, all the games go live well and so there will be many more streams opportunities to come in hang out uh, let, me, shows like yeah. to the, the podcast. let me just check my diary um let me just uh yeah i'm free every day buddy i'm with you mate no problem you handle the night basically we're in different time zones right we're not we're not that far apart um but yeah man i'm ready i'm ready baby as soon as i can count that lava and pyr that is the game we're trying to prove and that is where the exponential growth comes from in my opinion so yeah and real quick uh skeezel says are you guys going to be touching on the other game wondering about coddle pets and grocers as well not sure what grocers grocers like type grocer. over geocats oh, okay uh, I mean, we could touch about Coddle Pets. I, I, I have a, a decent bit of Coddle Pets, and that's a game I'm very much looking forward to. If it's in the Vulcan Forge ecosystem and you can earn lava through playing. Do you I'm have be Do you have a ca Castronaut? I don't have a Castronaut. Well, then I'm not interested then. I was gonna, we're going to do a deal live on stream, non-OTC <laughs> for a Castronaut. Very I do have a cat I like a lot, though. I have the... Uh, I, I got a Yule 2020 Luxury, one of those oh yeah i'm excited to use that bad boy no, and then uh coddle sure. pets if you guys if for anyone I, I think most of our viewers right now are, are uh discord members people familiar with the ecosystem but coddle pets is um it's similar to like if, if you guys remember tamagotchis from back in the day you get these little creatures you get to grow and take care of uh but now 
these dragons are, they're really cute, like adorable to dragons that you play with and you grow over time. And uh, you play like mini games with them, do, do all these various things and you can earn lava, which, which gets you in the play to earn reward pool. Um, and there's also this aspect of breeding in that game, which is super cool. So uh, every dragon can only be bred once if, if I remember correctly. And I think there's still some information to be released on the game. Some of you guys in chat probably know a lot more than I do. Um, but this is just another one of the Vulcan Forge games. And I, I, this is going to appeal to a lot of people too, because they're just like, if you go, can you go to the gallery in there? Kind of, yeah. Uh, up there. And if you look at some of the dragons, like really, really cool uh, art in there. And you will also be able to use, I think it's 12 or 16 of them will be usable in Forge Arena too. And they'll have their own abilities. And uh, that's like an auto battler game. So Kyle Pets definitely is going to be a big, uh, a big part of the ecosystem. And I, I think it's going to be one of the more popular games. Like just a prediction I'm, I'm imagine I see it being something like Vulcanverse, obviously, is going to be the most popular favorite. Berserk right underneath it. And then I imagine Coddle Pets and Forge Arena to be like right there in terms of community favorites. Uh, and maybe for some people, I'm sure they'd even prefer it to Berserk. Uh, and, you know, because you know, different people like different games, of course. But yeah, Coddle Pets is awesome. As you can see here, the artwork on them is fantastic. Really cool NFTs. They, Ash, they I see Ash a lot. I see Ash a lot swapping hands in the, in the market. Very valuable Ash, apparently, right? Yeah, it's only 100 edition. There aren't too many 100 editions. Um, there's some 50s, some 25s, and uh, only two 25s, actually, Kyder and Isran. But, and there's an oversized hat is, there, is a 9 edition. The the main dev of that game, his his Discord name is Oversized Hat. So right. Um, dragon there. And let's see, uh, are we getting anything? In let's move on. Let's move on with the next subject, right? Um, because uh, this is all about you. We're gonna we're we're at your house. No, I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, the philosophers. I can, I'll keep on reminding what's on the schedule. But the Council of Philosophers and the Philosophers Quiz. What can you yeah. tell us about? Um, you know, of course, we we saw the electorate i think it's the right word or the uh the people step forward to uh become philosophers do we ho do we know how many there actually are though i don't think jamie's let us know the actual number i think it's 21 okay there's so there's 30 slots that are open if you don't could you actually uh if you google balkan oh. versus council of philosophers that medium post of course i actually do have it here my apologies yeah Perfect. No worries. So yeah, so basically, this was a really cool thing Vulcan decided to do, uh, where if you're heavily invested in the ecosystem, uh, minimum requirement is 100,000 PYR in your wallet, you can enter the Council of Philosophers. And it's sort of just a community led board. Uh, not, 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 it's, it's not like we're getting any type of say on uh, like gameplay or aspects of de development. But if there's ever community voted on things, um, I think it's if I could be wrong with this, but I think I remember seeing if there's like a 10% discrepancy. So if there's two things being voted for, one is at 58%, one is at 42%, it would get sent to the council to to determine uh, that. No, love is not required. Um, it is the PYR. And that's it. And the dedication. <laughs> from into over but yeah, so it's really just in, in one, the coolest thing about the Philosopher's Council is it's soft locking uh, a, a lot of PYR. So philosophers get incentives to be on the council. They get uh, cool in-game perks, which is mentioned at the bottom of that article. And you can choose um, between five different philosophers that were actually real people in, in the course of, of Greek history. And uh, why is it important to lock PYR? Uh, just so it's just stability for the coin. And you know that as long as there's 21 uh, philosophers in play, that's a minimum of 2.1 million PYR that's being held in wallets. And that's strong uh, and for the it, coin it, itself, right? It's, it's out of this. It's basically it's soft lock. It's not a hard lock. So it's it's out of the circulating supply, kind of. You know, uh, they're not going to be getting dropped, and it's a decent chunk of the. And most philosophers have more than just one hundred thousand. You know, there's a little bit more, so it's really more than two point one million soft lock, probably in the three to four million range. And uh, in addition to other people holding, because uh, there's the lava appreciation program as well. That if you got in before a certain time, you get a gem for having X amount of PYR in your lava. So there's. One really cool thing they're doing, which Council Philosophers is really one of those things, is they incentivize people to hold on to their PYR, to soft lock it, 
you get rewarded for doing so. And because uh, it's sorry to drill it in because it's important for PYR because it doesn't. What what does it do for the actual token, like the tokenomics of it? Yeah, so I mean, uh, I'm sure a lot of people I've seen with there, there's not a ton of liquidity out there right now because we're just on Uniswap and QuickSwap. So big buys and sells can impact the price quite a bit, you know, and uh, especially in the early stages of a project when the circulating supply um, is still relatively low, I guess, compared to its its total supply and, and especially compared to the liqui liquidity available. Like if someone to go in and buy 20K worth of PYR, sell 20K worth of PYR, it's, uh, it, it puts a big uh, adjustment on the price, whether it's up or down. So by philosophers and uh, soft locking their coins, or same with the lab appreciation program where anyone is incented, uh, incentivized to soft lock their coins so they can qualify for external lava. It just kind of is that extra layer of there's not going to be some type of big dip uh, one day with like this mass sell off uh, because people are rewarded for holding their tokens. Yeah. And, and uh, another cool thing about this project too, is I'm sure you and, and a lot of other people have noticed is every time we have a dip, it gets bought up like really, really fast, you know? Uh, which j just goes to show that let's like there's for every person who sells, someone is buying back in. And then that person who just bought in at that new level is much less likely to sell until they see a bit more profits. And we've just been on this steady climb, like ever since the coin released. And uh, we're, we're in the five, six dollar range now. Uh, yep. 5.3, uh, for, yeah, 5.3. Yeah, 5.35 right now. There's a question yeah. from, um, I don't know where it's gone, but. Uh, I see it. Yeah, uh, I, I picked Cleanthes for my philosopher. Uh, I see your question. Yeah, which I think he's probably one of the more popular ones. The Re reason I picked him was because uh, my brother was reading this book. Uh, it was something about uh, Stoics. My brother's big into the, I have an older brother, big into the Stoic philosophy. And he actually read about Cleanthes before. And I, I told him about the Council of Philosophers, how it was going to work and like the options. And he was like, oh, you have to go with Cleanthes. Uh, so yeah, that was my choice, which seems like the... Uh, most popular one, but there's a pretty good split amongst philosophers with the choices. But I'm going to run to the bathroom quick. I'll be right back. Absolutely. Guys. Tank is taking over. So yeah, we've got, uh, we're going to, so this, is, I mean, it's got a strong, uh, I think, resemblance to Mukti, don't you think? Uh, we need to get a beard on Mukti. Oh, look at that mean face there. Cl Cleanthes or Cleanthes um, is the name. So yeah. Interesting. Love to. I think um, for someone on the sideline that doesn't hold a uh, hundred thousand PYR, um, and I might as well tell you now if I, you know, if I would want to be in the philosophers' council, I think um, the reason I would want to be is just to see how they play and see what they see, and you know, you'd probably get an inside view of what it's like to be a philosopher. Um, the anti-corruptor, you can call me the anti oh, the, <clears throat> the anti-corruptor, vote for Tanker. Um, but yeah, just to get an opportunity, I guess, to see what it's like to be the philosopher, the benefits, and, uh, you know, just keep an eye on them. Tell you what's really going on behind the curtains, okay? Maybe I'm corruptible. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't figured out a price yet. But maybe. Maybe one day. Um, while uh, while Mukti's uh, away, um, I guess um, just want to say thank you for all the subs today, all the donations. Uh, much appreciated. It's certainly one of the highest viewerships we've had, and for good reason. This is Vulcan focused. Uh, we're gonna. You want to know how old I am? I'm in my 30s, all right? Do you want my shoe size as well? Yeah, 21. 30s, 1 plus 330. Uh, but we get, I, I can see us looking for a lot of community support for the channel. You can see uh, how pretty basic we've, we've set up things today. I hope it's been entertaining. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we'll certainly be looking for it. I don't want people to go all in and, and, and start doing this. But yeah. We're looking for banners, uh, probably you know some nice banners and stuff and ideas and, and all that sort of stuff, all that sort of stuff. Don't know who seven six eight six is yet. Is it you, Igor? I, I don't think it's you, brother. I'm not sure. So yeah, we were just having a look at uh, the resemblance. Uh, you know, what do you think? Of uh, 
Oh, Cleanthes. Um, there is someone said, I don't, I don't know if we look too so similar. He's got quite the, do, yeah, I don't know if you can do the eyebrows. That says you've got, I can't. G give me a few years and maybe I'll. Yeah, a few years, a few, a few months uh, for, <laughs> in Athens, right? Um, so, yeah, so I was just talking about really, you know, becoming a philosopher myself and I was uh, balloting for votes. So we can quickly, swiftly move oh, on. Nice, Tanker. You're getting my vote the first time that's open. Absolutely. So next on the yeah, I was uh, I was essentially saying that I would uh, be the anti-corrupter, right? But maybe I that's where I get corrupted. <laughs> yeah, true. You go two side on the anti-corruption side. That uh... everyone has a price, right? Mine's a, probably a castronaut. I'm so I'm a low bidder. You're um, after a castronaut tanker. I don't know. I like space. I like geocats. Maybe I get one, and I'm like, oh, he's all right. I still like my avocado. You know what I mean? So I, I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. Did you want to dig dig uh, dig on anything out of the philosophers? Mm, I think we kind of hit the main points. It's kind of just you know, it's like a it's like a board for community decisions. If if it's a, if it's a tight vote, because most things, uh, I believe Jamie and the team are going to put up to the community to vote on. And then, like I said, if it's a, if it's an even thing, it gets sent to the philosophers to decide. But for the most part, it's just people who are who heavily believe in this project and want to support it to, uh, you know, our our fullest potential uh and it's cool that they reward us in very different ways for doing so but it, you know it, it soft locks a good bit of the supply a, a lot of really awesome people in there um uh yeah so it's it's just another really uh cool thing that this project is doing another awesome aspect of the ecosystem yeah so definitely yeet that 100k if you want because there's definitely spaces to yeet away yep yeet it in there you know you know what i mean muck yeah, there will be two. I think it's I think it's monthly. Uh, I could be wrong though, but there will be community members voted in two per uh, iteration, and uh, so there will always be uh, you know some new guys circulating into the council. Should we take a bet? Should we take a bet on one of the first two? Do you want to take? Do you want to pick a name out of the hat? I would say you are definitely in the running to be one of the first well, two. I, I, you're gonna have one, so is me. I could see Lumpy getting in there. You kind oh, of, I mean, there's, there's one. There's you get a, one guess. We'll put we'll put fifty PY on it. How about that? Are you up? Are you in play here? Uh, yes, yeah, it's up to you. I can't pick my. I could pick myself. Oh. I guess, but I'm not. Oh. If you're gonna, I would guess you. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna. So. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Sircion. Is all I'm saying. I think he's. he's already oh, is he? Oh shit! Yeah. Fuck! I'm gonna lose this one then. Um. Oh, blood, Odin. bloody hell. Odin, I don't know, man. I don't... See, I think he's gained support, right, as the corrupter. <laughs> but there's a lot of peasants out there that like, yeah, I'm not going to vote for him and it's time. So, I don't know. Now I've just thrown myself in the fucking deep end because I'm... Um, oh, he, crap. He wants a cat for not Remy. Remy Richard says... Uh... Oh no, he he says, "Is it the name of the geocat you want?" No, it is not Remy. If you're wondering if that's the word for, uh, if you're wondering if that's a secret word for the giveaway, it is not. You got to be paying attention. Pay attention to Tanka throughout this podcast and the chat. I've said the word about okay, eight chat. nine times, but also keep an eye on the chat. I'm I'm deleting words. Yeah, I'm deleting the word. Okay, yeah. please don't say it in chat though. If you figure it out, you know. For a bit of fun i'll make it easier i'm not going to just disappear off it but it's pretty bloody easy so just eat your word whatever it is into uh the giveaway so um yeah uh next one jamie and the jamie and the jamie um can i just say by the way and i don't know if i've discussed this with you but i'm very not suspicious but um i'm intrigued i feel like there's some back to future stuff going on here because it is very interesting i mean it's it is one of the, just, just another crazy thing about this project, how the CEO has the same name as the lead author, spelled the same exact way. I'm not, I know, continue. I mean, I'm just. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, just, it, there's something going on. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's strange. And it, it's almost like too, it's almost too perfect the way it all, it, it was meant to be, it seems. It was meant to be for these two to link up at this point to, to bring this to the world. Just uh, I've got a, I've got a book dedicated to this. I'm going to figure this one out because they I don't know why the Dark Lord has sent Jamie back. So Jamie's the AI, 
right? Yeah. He's created Jamie to go back in time. What has happened in the future? Or Je the Dark Lord's come back in time with his AI. What happened in the future? They c uh, uh, okay, here's a theory that the blockchain ecosystem did not succeed. The likes of Ubisoft and Epic, they won the battle in the future against the blockchain. And the Dark Lord has come back to save the future of blockchain gaming. There we go. <laughs> There's a theory yeah, for you. Right there. Hey, that fits right into the Jamie's an AI theme. You know, see, look, you can see the Dark Lord himself, given the same name. I mean, in this picture, you can clearly see him drinking from the mug, but really what he's doing is speaking. But uh, yeah, very suspicious, guys. I would, you know, oh, Odin's in the chat now as well. I think we've. Uh, I think hey, we've hey, Acadian just tipped $10. What a legend. Well, thank you, my friend. We'll go. I'm going to go through. I am actually going to go through uh, all the follows, all the donations, all the bits at the end. Um, yeah. It's very important for me. I'm just going to list you all. You guys have been like amazing. It's very appreciative. Uh, I, I not decided what we're going to do, but I think the best thing for me is we just up the levels here for sure. Um, so yeah, the next next on the uh, list, yeah, the, the interview. Um, so sorry to say, I don't know what I was doing. Uh, but I didn't watch the whole thing. Okay. Did you? It, it, it was a lot. Yeah, I saw the whole thing. It was a lot of a lot of uh, things about the lore were revealed by the Dark Lord. He talked. He talked a good bit about the game books because uh, George, the guy who was hosting the podcast, wasn't very familiar with game books. So uh, there was a good bit of time talking about that. But there's a lot to learn in, in that uh, podcast about the lore, various parts of the ecosystem. That was where that Titans versus Olympians uh, game was was teased. Maybe. A little bit earlier than it was meant to be by uh the dark lord jamie uh but i mean if you guys haven't seen it yet it's it's anytime you're getting both jamie's you know in the same interview it's it's going to be super entertaining to watch and, and there's there's a lot of good uh good things to take away and learn in there to get you excited about the game books and, and everything else falcon forged related yeah be excited to see more and more can't wait to meet them both in the same room but i suspect the world would end if that happens hence where they live on the other side of the planet uh third question as well when's where's the third jamie do we are we expecting a third jamie thompson do we think in this uh weirdness oh, by the way, it is jamie thompson's birthday today which is oh yes see. happy birthday yeah. he's he's watching from home okay yeah. I, hope I can imagine him pushing the wife's face out. There. Excuse me, they're talking about me. Um, but he's been around. Happy, Happy cheers to Jamie. Let's let's have a big. This is the greatest project that myself and I'm sure everyone else here has seen. You're spearheading it. It's amazing. Happy birthday! Cheers to you, Jamie. Hope you're still in the chat. Um, I hope, it yeah, I hope he isn't. I hope he's spending time with the family. Uh, but look yeah. at us, look at us, hardcore. Partiers, me and you, Matty. <laughs> I was actually at a family event earlier, and I had a, I had a few drinks. Uh, you had a few drinks, Jamie. I'm sure earlier. there's a few drinkers in the chat, though. I'm sure pour, pour, pouring a whiskey tonight, enjoying the show, um, and celebrating for Jamie. So yeah, big up, Jamie. Happy birthday! I guess it's, it's kind of fitting then, really. Um, obviously, uh, it, you know, just for transparency, my yeah, my mum fell uh, ill. Quite a scary moment for me yesterday. Um, and I did tell her the appreciation and love you guys were sending. I think it's important to be vocal about these things. So good people like yourselves put her in your heart and uh, the worst is clear. We're, we're very happy. Um, I was going to get her to do a cameo later, a comedy cameo, right? But oh, that'd be awesome. Don't want to put too much pressure on her. Yeah. Um, but really appreciate the love. Um, family's super important, guys. And um, it's kind of fitting in a way. Probably this maybe is important for Jamie's birthday, right? Kind of sim a nice, nice thing for him to see. I think. Yeah, how cool is it? Like, I didn't even really uh, connect the, connect that yet. That our first episode is on Jamie's birthday. That's pretty cool. And it was supposed to be yesterday, but I don't believe in coincidences. Um, I believe in opportunity, taking those opportunities. But um, a, you know, a lot of sh a lot of stuff has has had to work out in this world for things that you know happen the way they are i had to be here you know i'm here for a reason i believe um whatever it may be small or big and um yeah to bring Vulcan verse to the mass so my mum got ill so that it could be rescheduled for jamie's birthday that's what we're uh, 
what we're getting down to. Let's let's crack on with the next one, uh, Mukti. Yeah, yeah, yep, let's do it. Uh, real, I see glitch biking in the chat. I'm gonna send you boys some whiskey. That'll be, we we should have some drink streams at some point down the line. Uh, I down the line. I don't be, I don't drink, Mukti. I'm a, I'm I, a year and a half. I'm nearly two years sober. Uh, but I. I tell you what, I will be right back. I'm going to go and get a 0%. I do fancy cracking a 0% beer. Uh, but next on the uh, list, the PYR Marketplace Integration. Temp this is huge. This is huge. I tell you what we'll do. We'll just put this up then. I'll be right back. I'll get that 0% beer. Um, I know it's happening. I'm neither nor excited for it. I'm enjoying the show. Can't wait to see what happens with the market. Um, but yeah, take it away i guess with that and i'll be right back all right gonna take it away here so yeah pyr marketplace integration is coming on may 10th guys the same day berserk goes live so that uh as of right now is like the most exciting date to look forward to and i know a lot of us have been waiting for that for a long time it's going to be huge for the pyr token i think uh because it just there's that extra layer of utility for it where now if people want to go on the marketplace to get an nft rather than buying v chain they're now buying pyr so that's a big catalyst for, uh, you know, buy pressure on the token. Very good for the price. And that's really when things are going to kick off here. May 10th, P Marketplace switches to PYR, where Zerk goes live, uh, and the grind and the grind really begin, begins then. So keep your eyes out for, for May 10th. One thing that will be interesting is how the prices of NFTs are going to vary. Because I, one thing that I see that I'd be curious, uh, what do you guys think is going to happen here? Because what I'm expecting to happen is once we make the transition from PYR to VET, people are going to post their auctions or NFTs for the same USD value, uh, the same fiat value as what they were posted uh, on the at, when it was VeChain. You know, so if, if right now twenty thousand VeChain is four thousand US dollars, uh, I believe, and so. If you're going to sell an NFT for for twenty thousand V chain, when we switch to PYR, you'd probably put that up for four thousand dollars worth of PYR value. But once that marketplace switches, like I said, that puts a lot of buy pressure on the PYR token, gives it the extra layer of utility, and the price is going to shoot. So we could see the the value of these NFTs uh, take off pretty quickly because when PYR two X's, that makes an NFT that you need PYR to buy twice as valuable uh, to a degree, and PYR is going to be uh, you know, I, I'm sure you guys are all aware, but it, it's, this token is not going to be staying in the five, six dollar range for very long, you know. So uh, once we make that switch to PYR in the marketplace, I think that's a catalyst for a lot of these NFTs to really take off in value. And uh, and that's just going to be uh, really fun to see what happens with the marketplace. So will you be buying? Have you got any eyes on uh, anything in particular yourself? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not selling. I, I don't think I have much to sell unless, you know, something, um, you know, I need, I've got a couple of places in the world that I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. Um, I may want to sell something else, but I'm not sure if there's much else I want. I think plots is important to me. Um, not, not too sure, really. I think I'm kind of happy where you're at, but is there anything you're searching for? Because I think you're pretty good at getting what you want. <laughs> Yeah, well, one thing I want to touch on quick is something Leah mentioned, but I, I'm very happy with the NFTs I currently have. I that one thing I definitely will be buying more of is once the, once the you know more Titans and Olympians are out and we see their buffs and, and what they'll do. Like I'm going to be looking to get more uh, uh, Titans and Olympians, but in terms of like my land Vulcanites, I'm very very happy with with where I'm sitting right now. I would say, but Leah says this is in in reference to the marketplace transitioning to PYR and how that could likely be a catalyst for the value of the NFTs to really take off because, uh, you know, if someone lists an NFT for $4,000 worth of PYR and then PYR doubles in value, that NFT is now worth $8,000. And I expect to see some, and he says, is there a drawback to this though? Newcomers possibly to buy an actual BB NFT. So they would definitely have to grind with their free level zero. Yes. I mean, I, honestly guys, what, what this is going to turn into, like one thing that's pretty important to understand, I think is, Going back to when we hit half of Decentraland's market cap, we're looking at 50 million per PYR. And uh, once that happens, we're looking at $150 million in rewards that are going to be given out over two years. And there are going to be some big, big players coming into this ecosystem. 
And it's it's not going to be easy to come in and and buy a bunch of NFTs. Like it's 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 gonna it, it'll appeal a lot, I think, to to uh, the crypto rich. Basis. Would you agree? And and yeah, and with the scarcity of the NFTs, ten thousand plots of land, Balkanites ranging from five hundred to fifty. There's so much scarcity. Uh, but the cool thing is, you know, the more um, crypto rich people who are in this ecosystem playing, like to a degree, that is. Uh, can give more opportunity to the small guy because big players, uh, especially if they're like influencers, YouTube, whatever, bring in, you know, communities, large amounts of other people. And the bigger and better the game gets more often that leads to more opportunity for the small guys in some capacity, one way or another. Uh, but yeah, it'll definitely be important for people to, to grind with their free level zero for sure. But th there's going to like, it's, it's just, that's just how it is. You know, with a project this good, the NFTs are going to get super, super valuable, super rare, super hard to come by. And it's not going to be cheap to buy in and get going, you know. Uh, um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that. I mean, you can't give away stuff to convince people to come in. You know, you want to prove that someone can come in, um, play and earn. Um, and we very... and we know that the team and Jamie are. That's the goal. Like that is that is the goal here. So if it doesn't work, it's gonna balance like that's how i see it it's like it's not set in stone because if they're not if they've not reached the goal of the best play to earn economy out there then they're gonna change it because that's the goal at the end of the day right like you know it's as simple as that like that's the goal if it doesn't work then they'll make it work they'll find we'll find a way yeah i, I mean we we like like you say Liap, we are incredibly early and at, like, if you're invested in this ecosystem, you should be super grateful because what, like a big catalyst for the, for the takeoff is once the games are out, like e even May 10th when Berserk is live, I, th I think it's going to be huge because PR switches uh, to the marketplace, Berserk goes live. But then you think about when all the games are live, Vulcanverse, Coddle Pets, and people start to hear about, and PYR goes to $20, $30, $40, and it goes, and people start to hear about these tens, hundreds of millions of dollars up for grab up for grabs in rewards pools from this player and gaming ecosystem. Then they come and see what these games are you can play that turn all this money. They see Berserk gameplay, they see Vulcanverse gameplay, they're like, holy shit, you can, you know, and it's just people see it because we're very early. Like we, we to a degree had to, uh, uh, speculate isn't the right word, but we had, there was a little bit of faith involved that, you know, that things would come to fruition. But w once you hang out on Discord for a little while and you actually, you see Jamie in action, like he is as, integral part of this community as anybody which is like that's that's really the, the true sign of a successful project i think is when you have a ceo who his project is his life and he's as dedicated as jamie has shown he is like there's no doubt in my mind this is a winner and uh i, I kind of forget where i was taking this to but it's beautiful uh, uh, uh yeah, we're, best we're super super early and we're i mean I, we're gonna get rewarded in a big way because this is the best play to earn ecosystem ever created no question and i i've been on a mission and i've told you this i've been I'm, i need some fud right i've been out i've been hanging out you haven't seen my discord I've, I've got every blockchain game there is on there and i'll hang out sometimes i need i need to get out of the vv discord i'm like guys what do you think of this and i'm looking for fud couldn't find it all i got was oh, actually that looks pretty good send me a link <laughs> you know and wow that's yeah. actually much better than this one Oh yeah, you know I'm out of here, and a few of them um, have left. You know what I mean? But um, it's strong. Uh, but we're not there yet, and I like to be confident. But um, there's still all the hard work to do uh, to make this the best place to earn system there is. The echo chamber is a thing, um, but I think yeah, with that goal in mind and how adaptable Vulcan has been, right? uh it's a no-brainer i mean look at these level i hate to say it that crow's looking pretty delicious what do you think oh, yeah. about so you okay so uh, i i don't i don't know if i've asked you but you you've chosen oh i've chosen oh what have you chosen yeah. do you know what i've chosen right uh yeah yeah oh that's it's a shame that's a shame you know. yeah no i mean everyone should know oh, yeah i remember you saying you got the spirit out because of the, the the luck factor, it's the gonna luck, bring you. The luck factor, yes, yes. The wisdom of the owl, and also because it's a winged, and I don't have anything that's flyable, right? So 
I just wanted that variety. I'm hoping you can put it on your uh, your shoulder cool. or whatever. Yeah. So what have you chosen? I don't know if you've actually told me. I mean, my my instinct is saying the dragon you. Yep, that, Liam guessed it too. Yeah, I went with I went with dragon you. I didn't read that uh, by I, the way. I didn't read that. It, it was. Dead split between track and the royal uh of collateral i like that you're loyal i like that you're loyal to your quadrant that's that's oh, very important oh, i only i was split between hades and notice for for a little bit but i have since consolidated all my land and box into notice and i'm just going to rep notice and be a notice guy i think I, I i like the idea of being pledged to one quadrant yeah makes um but I, the deciding factor for me was just i think track is is just a way cooler name than uh I think it's the coolest name out of all the level zero Valkanites, honestly. So, hey, you know, cousin of the dragons, cool too. So that was my pick. We don't know in game what the different stats of each of these Valks will be. So it's kind of just which one you think. Yeah. Some people cool. are holding off. They're not ready. They're uh, too... are up, yeah. you got to risk it for a biscuit. I'm telling you, man. You know, sometimes you got to eat. So, controversially, then, which one is your least favorite? Which one is least favorite? By the way, thank you, Sir Drinks, for the great choice. I, I, I was very happy with my Dragon choice. My least favorite? <laughs> Leo is shouting I, the rat. Like, it, it, I know. Like, it almost has to be the rat just because, you know, you appreciate uh, – people tend to not appreciate rats as much as they appreciate other animals, you know? Oh, and uh, now you made me feel bad for the rat, bro. Come on. The, the rat looks – I mean, in terms of, like, the art detail, I think it's as – good as any of these level zero balkanites and just like how how cool it's just you know people uh people are rat devoted are actually fine yeah because like rats often have a negative connotation associated with them you know because it's like all like you know rats going through restaurants and causing issues and stuff but then it's like all these other Vulcan balkanites fey fox rusty had goat it's like there's no negative connotation associated with those those are just badass really cool looking balkanites so i think the rat is probably if i had to guess i would i would bet that's the least picked of all of them if, you, you know when the numbers actually come out but who knows I, you know, i'm surprised I, about the dragon you to be because i i mean this is silly because when i think about it but i feel like they're slow but they can be fast right so for me fast. yeah i know yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I mean know. i i sometimes i guess i guess i don't know for all but there are videos out there i remember seeing I've seen this, them. Uh, like a national geographic video of this one lizard who outruns the, there's like this tribe of snakes they're in a desert too uh I, I think I had retweeted on my personal Twitter account, which I don't use anymore a little while ago. But yeah, it's this little lizard in the desert. And he outruns all these snakes that are like nipping at him. And they're fast. I mean, they're, they're quick. Some of them are. They're, I think they're probably some slow, like the Komodo dragons and those lizards that look similar, but I don't think they're as fast. Well, but, to, not, uh, to not hurt your feelings, I think, uh, I think it has to be the rat because Hades... Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it belongs in Hades. It wouldn't a, fit near... It's hard. Part. It's hard enough for me to even play alpha while we're stuck in Hades right now. Like you know, even saying the word Hades makes my skin crawl. Uh, yeah. So the the rat has to be. I look. I like the crow. I think he looks great, but it's not all about the looks, right? He's trying to look scary. Look scary. He needs a bigger moon, so you know he's got he's got um, definitely a um, you know some emotional issues there. Uh, but the bottom one's probably the rat followed by the dragon you controversially for me. The least Ooh, favorite. Well, you're, you're not far off Leop here. He thinks it's going to be, oh, actually, no. So Leop had dragon as the third most popular. Do you Wait. think dragon is going to be the second least pick? I think it was no. No, favorite. no. My second least favorite. Oh, your second least favorite. Ah, I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. Interesting tactic. Yeah. I'm just going to, you know, I'm a man in light's honesty. And uh, there's my view. Okay. <laughs> I. The rat and a lizard are the smallest too, so true because it's like you know a goat versus a, a lizard. Like, I wonder how that's going to work in game. Like what dragon? How big he's going to be? Like is he going to be the size of like the avatar's foot? You know? Can Whereas I just then the yeah. goat will be so sized? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see because I like the this small and cute. There needs to be more detail. And can I just say how natural we are at this, by the way? Because I didn't even planned for us to be talking about choosing the vulcanite and that was next on the list oh yeah wow that worked out perfectly like honestly i i swear i swear to god that was not planned maybe it was just on it's obviously on my tab ready but that was not planned so mm. professionals absolute born born to do this muxy you are bro unbelievable
Yeah, that, I, that's crazy. Work. Mm -hmm. Is it? Has it been two hours? It's been two hours, ten minutes. We've been live. That's pretty. It's crazy. quite short. It's quite short. I know. Um, you know, I've streamed for like I think um, if you were around for the first day that PYR went live, I streamed for seven and a half, eight hours. Right. Obviously, we didn't have a plan then. It was exciting to get that on record. I may just upload that whole thing for historical purposes one day. That fun time we all had in the Discord on the launch day. I was knackered, but what a day that was. I mean, I don't, yeah. look where we are now. Exciting. And I think I think what we need to do is certainly keep that price on on our chat shows. I think that would be a nice reflection of where yeah, we're at I, right I, now. Price up there, yeah. And they'll uh, and lump people like, oh, I wish I bought five point two, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, always always wishing. You, dip. you couldn't have been any more bullish uh, today. So like, you, you know, if people are not still buying. Then well, I've been bullish on this since my since I first saw it. By the way, uh, Chambers Gaming, um, this show's been very smooth, guys. I've been making dinner, listening the whole time. Everything felt very strong. I really appreciate that, man. And I wonder, I think that's probably Walt Chambers, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I guess what. So appreciate that, Walt. Thank you, man. And congrats on on uh, you know your giveaway success too, man. God yeah. Did you, Congratulations. Did you give a recent one, because I know you were one of like the extras if someone didn't uh, if someone didn't win. Uh, did you end up? I'm curious if you ended up getting there. But yeah, that's that's awesome, man. Always seeing your name pop up for those. That's really cool. Still unknown. Still unknown. Mm. I. I um I think about I was thinking about it with 159 gods because Jay you know I feel like Jamie just really that that process of sending out the berserk cards and all the gods and all the gifts and prizes is just tough man like keeping yeah. on top of that the spreadsheets I can't imagine but it that's is. Tough. It, it's awesome, awesome for the community though just the community like involvement in in the just random giveaways that happen all the time to reward the community just for being present in Discord. Literally, it's like all you need to qualify. Uh, it's it's definitely a special project. Just they're they're going about everything in the right way. They they really are. Um, ho hold on one second. I've got another voicemail. It's probably George again. You're right. You're right there, Maxie. Just hold on for me. Oh, George is back. Okay. But this guy, man, he won't stop bothering me. He's asking me for tips. I told, I told, I'm the one that told him vet, by the way. Okay, I said to him, yeah, you know, but he, you know, he's he's sitting there drinking his black label with 250 thousand subscribers now. Remember, remember who is, um, but yeah. So Vulcan Forge. Yeah, Vulcan Forge, George. Power yeah. Vulcan. I have seen this before. Yeah, it was a few hours ago. Game slash NFT play. Uh, no gas M NFT minting platform right. customize your needs. It's okay. got a short memory. The black label is going to instant dap <laughs> and NFT well, creation. Tips. That's pretty cool. NFT auction trades, yep. gaming tr tournament platform, tournaments, Vulcanverse. Vulcanverse. Yeah, I've seen this before. Yeah, it was like an hour ago. Good. I think it's pretty good. Of course, Except, it's pretty good. You know, a lot of NFT market places and games, they're. They're not doing well because it's too oversaturated. But if saturated, it comes back, maturated. this is one of them that could do really well. Of course, yeah. So we'll put down a maybe list. And maybe we're again. Finding, we're finding a lot of gems here. There's gems. Like, there's Let's cut of... this motherfucker off. We've had enough of that guy. Well, we we tried our best with George. Uh, He's uh, put us in the maybe pile and the gem. So I guess we'll have to, uh, I mean... You know? I'm sure he'll come around. Next time you talk to him, Tanka, you got to mention the reward pool. I mean, I'm That's... wondering if he's 7686 and, you know, like, why would you, you know, you got to yeet in first before you tell the subscribers, you know what I mean? I mean, us, me and you, Mutti, we'll, we'll, we'll tell him what's good, PYR, but I wonder if George is holding back and he's uh, telling me porky pies. There's a chance. Yes, Dio, Dio did in chat ask who is George. He is. He has a uh, crypto channel called Crypto RS, it's called, right, Tanka? And he's a bunch of subscribers and tank has got him to look at Vulcan Forge a few times uh and he is yep fellow crypto, crypto investor he's got a youtube channel uh and uh we've been show oh lumpy says turn mucky down again please yeah sorry about that sorry, guys i know you're bad oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks for being on top of it all um i had to turn it up for george and then but it's peaking with uh, uh with mighty my apologies so yeah george crypto um He's a guy that speaks a lot of sense and uh, has some great tips. I'm not saying they're from me, but they're not actually from me. 
Uh, but we're going to convert George one day and then actually perhaps he can interview Jamie. I don't think he'll want, he wants, he's not one I don't think to be interviewed. He's more the interviewer. So I'm looking forward for Jamie to actually be interviewed by him uh, when it's obvious that we are the biggest, the best. No, let's say not biggest and best, but certainly the ecosystem to look at when you're trying to trying to look at blockchain. So crypto us. I love the guy. I think he's great. Um, but yeah, he's slowly converting um, for sure. A little bit yeah. of fun for you there. Yeah, we'll get him in here. And like well, one, I think the biggest part of this project that's slept on that isn't understood by even people who are invested in the project already, but it, let alone people who haven't looked into it and don't know anything about it yet. But it's it's the the play to earn rewards from staking lands and playing these games. Assuming uh, it's going to get competitive, don't get me wrong. There's going to be people grinding their asses off to to top the lava leaderboards, but the amount of money that's going to be up for grabs here, people really are underestimating in a big way, I think. And uh, you know, once people understand the the amount of of money that's at that's going to be earned through gameplay here, that's going to be the biggest contributing factor to one of the biggest contributing factors, I would say, to getting uh, new players and new investors and stuff. Yeah, everyone will get a nice slice of the pie for sure, Lumpy. And it's also the thing that's that's really cool too that I love about this is when you invest in a crypto project, it's kind of just allocating your money um, to wise areas, like good projects you like and want to see succeed. But to a degree now, it's like when you invest here, you're investing in yourself almost because you're, you, you can buy an NFT that you can then use and spend 10 hours a day playing with that gets you more options to earn. Uh, and you can then sell that NFT potentially down the line for more than you paid for it. Or you can use it to, to like if it's a Vulcanite, for example, to forge, get other NFTs, sell in the marketplace. So uh, it's not just investing your money in a project and sitting back passively and uh, letting it do its thing. It's like, you're actually in here. You're active. You're playing these games. You're When you spend 10,000 bucks on an NFT, you're in there using it every day. And you're playing games with it, interacting with it, and it's and it, and it gives you the opportunity to earn more in this ecosystem. Uh, something that not other, uh, not many other NFT projects have going for them. There are, of course, other NFT gaming ecosystems out there, uh, but this is this is the biggest and the best. I think uh, Igor points out you really think it's possible from zero to hero. Start with only level zero Volk without land, just level seven land. Now, um, I'm I've, I'm inspired to. Uh, prove this uh, that you can first of all you've heard if you were in earlier the the magnitude of this goal for people with little or nothing to earn playing a game first of all like I still don't believe it I know it's going to happen but I, I, I need to see it the reason I need to see it is I'm going to be pumping out material simply to go, hello, guys, look at, I'm playing a game and I'm earning. However, I may have a small head start. So the zero to heroes and Faces isn't really got zero anymore. However, I'm out to prove that and we will see. Um, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's damn possible, but I'm really excited about that. Mike T for content is to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I even remember Jamie saying something about it will, it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of grinding, oh. but it will be possible to zero, uh, come in with zero investment and work way up to level seven land. Uh, like th that will be, that pathway is in the realm of possibility, I guess that's what I'm trying to make. I don't think it's very possible. So uh, one of the big things people are excited about is is dragons in this game, and they're going to be likely level seven or eight Vulcanites. Each quadrant is going to have their own. And I don't think it's possible for like someone to come in with zero and then like f stumble their way onto you know. A, well, here's a, a curve. Here's a curveball though. Look at the look at the community. Look at the think about the radio, the opportunities even outside of Unity Engine, right? The opportunities of uh, being active or community focused to get rewards, and that is yeah. sure to continue in years to come. So someone oh, yeah. that is also grinding could mix and um, build their skills in presenting or DJing or chat showing or whatever it is. And I think yeah. for me, that is more than a game. Um, but
But I was just I was just thinking that it's you know don't need to you need to grind. Maybe if you grinded and then did a few other things as well, you're boosting your opportunities there. Yeah, and I mean you're exactly right. Like, this is much more than a game. Like with Balkan Radio, there's so much opportunity. It is like a whole legit open world fantasy metaverse, and like you can spend your life here. Um, like to to a degree, which I'm sure, uh, like I said earlier, really brings the play back into people's lives because. Um, you know, even if you have the opportunity to earn 25k a year, let's say, and there's a lot of money in some areas, grinding this game, playing all day, versus going to a job you you severely dislike and you're making 40k a year, a lot of people are going to opt in to make less money but enjoy their time spent each day. You know, and this this project and projects like this that will sprout up, uh, not many will be able to compete with everything going on here, but it really gives people the opportunity to bring some play back into their lives and actually earn. Um, legit amounts of money, like life-sustaining amounts of money, by having fun interacting in this in this metaverse, and uh, like it's it's not something that has the opportunity like this hasn't really existed for people previously, at least not on the scale of, of this project. No, I absolutely agree. Um, Echo chamber. We um, berserk hype and speculation. I feel this is one of your areas again, uh, Mukti um berserk hype it's actually the last on our list today um we never want this to end and i can't see it ending ever this is going to continue for years ahead ladies and gentlemen but berserk hype and speculation what do you mean by that so i i, I don't even think i can say berserk is being slept on anymore because i think people are really starting to realize um the potential of that game and how much fun it actually is to get in and play and so Mukti's berserk, Mukti's hyped. I know this about you that it's probably yeah. you know you're lo looking for. So quick question for your berserk: Have you built a deck already? Then that you're ready to. Right. I've, I've got my decks. I'm very happy with the deck I have right now. There's I've been trying to get a Myrmidon Warrior for okay a week or two now, and it's just impossible. Like, Is that one where it summons Spear of Achilles and a six three? Gotcha. And it's a six lava cost. Six it's probably the strongest epic card in the game, I would say. Okay. Uh, and no one, there's only ten in circulation right now. It's epic cards. There's gonna be a hundred. There's only ten in circulation now, and it's very hard to, to find someone willing to give one up. Right. No, I've been posting in the trade channel. I've noticed. We've all oh, noticed. Nice. We've all seen you posting one in that movie and one out. And that's interesting. Uh, I think Mukti's a great little dealer, but he's very honest about your trade. I think you're very honest about your trades, man. Like you yeah, I try to put it on the table. When I approach a trade, I always, uh, like if it's NFT for NFT, I'll just, I'll talk to the person, get a, get a fire evaluation of the NFT or NFTs up for grabs. So if it's like three NFTs worth 50 K, then I'll make sure I'm offering that equivalent fire value, whether it's one NFT two, or whatever. I think that's the best way to go about trades is just to make sure it's like whatever the current marketplace value for those items are, it's, it, you know, it evens out, which I think like, of that's course fair. in a trade, you need two people to agree. So it can't be too... I overvalue my stuff, but because I won't let them go. If I was happy to let them go, it would probably be market value. But I would say people overvalue more than undervalue for sure. Uh, but yeah, talking about like... For like I'll say Berser we'll, we'll do Berserk speculation because there's plenty there's plenty of hype out there. The game is okay. going to be... But speculation in terms of what I think this is going to turn into is... So Berserk, it's a CCG similar to Magic the Gathering, Hearthstone. And in those games, there are tournaments with prize pools, uh, similar to lots of other games. But Berserk, because it's in the Vulcan Forge gaming ecosystem, your prizes are PYR and Vulcan Forge NFTs, Vulcanverse NFTs, uh, or, or I guess not Vulcanverse NFTs, but like in the last Berserk tournament, first place got a Cronus or a Zeus. Second and third got their choice of a god. Lance. Fourth through eighth got land. Yeah, so you're getting so okay. So there are Vulcan versus NFTs again tournaments, and so and these, I mean, I mean, these are NFTs that belong to the biggest and best player in gaming ecosystem in the world. So when you have a valuable Berserk deck, and assuming they're going to have these tournaments on a relatively regular basis, um, the earning potential from this game, because let's say if they have another tournament where first place is a god and gods are selling for fifteen twenty k, like it could be a god plus five hundred PYR. You know, or whatever. When PYR is ten bucks, so so it's it's opening this. Uh, I guess it's sort of like a league, but there there are seasons, and there's going to be Elo rankings. So the top players will get matched up against the other top players, and there'll be tournaments, varying in skill level with with 
obviously the better prizes will be for the, the top rated players. Um, but it, it's just going to turn into a super competitive and super fun. It's, it's basically going to be Hearthstone magic. Like, a, like people love CCGs. They're, it's a very fun game genre, but now you're playing for high stakes. And if you want to get in and have a strong deck, like people are now starting to see the value in these decks and cards aren't cheap. Like if, if, if you want to get, uh, you know, like, like if you want to build an entire deck for Berserk and, and be like strong and competitive, you're going to be putting in, you know, a good chunk of money for sure. Like it's not, it's not necessarily cheap, but, but the reason for that is because by having this deck, by having these cards, you are now in the running to, to have deep runs and tournaments um, and potentially get lucky and, and win lots of prizes. Cause there definitely is a decent bit of variance to the game. Like sometimes you just get screwed right off the bat, terrible starting hand and the game's just over before it begins. Uh, but a lot of the times they're super close games and just like the difference of having one card versus not having it, you know, can, can make the difference. And it, it's, it's, as of right now, it's very well balanced, very fun game. And the, the potential for it is unlimited because gods and chain is a blockchain CCG that's out there. It's probably the most popular right now, but it's on a, it looks good. Which a lot of people hate. And the fact that this one is tied into the rest of the ecosystem and the prizes up for grabs are PYR and uh, NFTs for other games. It's, it's just very unique in that way and uh and, and yeah and the card's um, forageable you would expect so right of course no uh so you're gonna be able to forage berserk cards yeah or at least fragments of them or no i think they come in seeds because I, I think in in uh in one of the articles about seeds from a few weeks ago they gave an example of like a addition four out of 100 sepulchral armor which is a hades card and it comes in like a seed and then you farm the seed or you sow it in your land, and after so many days, and you put so much PYR in with it, then you get the NFT at the end of that time period. And I think Berserk cards will be, uh, will definitely uh, be like forageable in game for sure. And probably the higher level, the higher tier cards, the Mythics and Epics, will need, you'll need to have level five, six, seven land probably. To get I, those fragments. I have a gripe, okay. and it is <clears throat> say I want to build a deck. Yes. I now don't have the chance to, let's say, discover a deck. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I think I am on the fence where I'm trying to say I want to discover a deck, then go out to the market and purchase said deck. Instead of having to purchase all the cards to discover a deck. A um, I don't know if there's any progress on that. I think so I do think... Like or like opening a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon cards. Like you get a deck and there's a bunch of cards in there. Uh, are you saying you'd rather see that than just buying like each card one at a time on the market? No, not at all. I'd like to play with all the cards, non-competitively, non for rewards, and it actually, oh. actually a really dumbed down way. And when I say dumbed down, I want, you know, even the, the um, you know, it to be not boring but i don't want the you know you want to feel like that you're in a training arena right uh mm -hmm. not on the battlefield i think you do need to dumb that down okay and of yeah. course no rewards but for the deck discovery so i can't you know i spent a lot of time playing hearthstone it's probably the the game's second uh to volcabos where i've invested most of my money but I spend a lot of time in deck discovery. Take one card out, to put one more card in, but putting that one card in makes me take another one out. That is very expensive to do without mm. access to deck discovery. I'm going to be pushing that quite hard. I, I, I can imagine there's something comes out down the line along those lines. Um, I thought I'd mention it to you, you know, just so you yeah, can no, uh, I, poke I, the I, bear. I, and I, uh, and I, Odin says here there will be future seasons and i imagine decks will show face again so so that's kind of separate from what you were just talking about there but that would be cool though odin if uh they get back to like packs of cards you know and so rather than having to go buy one at a time you get like a pack that has five to ten cards in it and can sell the extras on the mp like i hope when they have new seasons and release new cards that's that's how they do it that'd be really cool and and it could even they could even do something because i know it's been mentioned how playing berserk and morning gets you like raffle tickets um and then you can enter them for various raffle giveaways so it'd be cool if they do something like that like you can just stack up raffle tickets and then get in the entry to win these decks for future seasons and stuff uh not, not sure but there's there is really unlimited potential with berserk 
like that. I, I have very high um, high hopes, and I'm, and, and I'm, I'm super excited for that game, for sure. That'll be what I'm playing the most outside of all converse, I would say. And you played Hearthstone before. You played other CCGs, yeah. have you? Yeah. You'll often Hearthstone see me. You'll often see me playing Hearthstone on Discord because it it's a game I can go into, do other stuff, and take my turn doing it. I love it. I think it's great, addictive. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm with you 100. percent I think Berserk is. People think it's going to be bigger than Volcanoes. I don't believe that, but it's good, equally yeah. as huge. Yeah, it, it'll attract a lot of. Uh especially if you have tournaments like like the the one starting may 10th is sixty thousand dollars uh fiat and, and prize pool mm-hmm. not many other uh, ccgs have that going on for for community members to hop in you have to be like a pro invited invited to these tournaments so anyone can hop in obviously you need a little bit of uh an investment to get a strong enough deck to, to compete uh, at, at a high level yeah uh just because the the neutral cards there are some strong ones like i use um for anyone out there watching, Warrior of Ares and Spartan Phylarch, they're both two costs, both probably the two rage. strongest cards. You should, yeah, Warrior of Ares has Rage. You should definitely run those in your deck. I use those in my deck even. Um, but a lot of the neutral cards just really can hang with the NFT cards. Uh, th- those are two solid ones. But it, it definitely is worthwhile to have a strong deck. It, it makes it, it just makes it more fun, you know, and, and you'll, you'll likely be winning more games the stronger your deck is versus just using neutral cards but 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 with that being said anyone uh can hop in and play with the neutral cards and and because of the elo system it's not like you'll be going up against people with strong nft decks every game getting stomped because it'll even itself out to where you get matched up to opponents of similar skill level so you're still able to get like rewarded through wins and you'll be able to earn raffle tickets through gameplay or however that works and, and slowly earn more cards through foraging raffles etc and then and then build your deck over time which which is really cool because uh, it's like a progression you know your deck and building your deck and getting it to where you want to be it's, it's it's almost impossible to just come in and buy everything you want right off the bat mostly because there aren't there aren't uh, enough cards on the marketplace anymore and some of them are you know not too cheap to acquire so so it's going to be a fun progression and uh there will be lots of ways to earn cards outside of just buying them on the marketplace yeah coming. Um, you've uh, actually done something fantastic. So uh, this this um, this graphic here. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Very nice. Thank you, Tanka. Threw that together in Canva a little bit of, this morning or, is it, or last night. I finished it. Um. Morning. I had it started last night. The upcoming events as well. I love it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. We can go over those quick before we. Uh... Yeah, I think we've we've covered a lot today. I think it's been amazing, Matsy. I think we've um, we'll find our our roots here uh, and have a lot more fun to come. But yeah, let's talk about the upcoming events because actually, um, it's something I need to print out because I feel like I'm slightly behind. So we've got t- tomorrow. There's a quiz. Yep, so tomorrow, I think if you're in the Discord, you can, you know, you're in the running time. I'm in the Discord. The, <laughs> the questions are going to be based, I think it's, ba- I could be dead, dead ass wrong. I should pull up the Discord just to just to make sure. But yeah. I think the questions are going to be based on the philosophers, not like not like the Council of Philosophers members, but like the Cleanthes, um, Anastasia, Tutor of Socrates, um, Protagoras, and I can't, I'm drawing a blank on the other two right now, but. Uh, it's going to be related to those philosophers' questions uh, and on like different parts of Greek mythology and stuff and the announcements in the Discord. Uh, but uh, probably going to be some nice prizes. I feel like the prizes were already announced. It's going to be TYR. Faceless that, quiz tomorrow, mate. Quiz faceless. <laughs> I know the faceless yep. is killing it. Absolutely killing it with the quiz. Big up, big up. Uh, yeah, two, I've written it down. Actually, you're right. Two hundred Leo. Uh, two hundred PYR yep. for top. Hundred PYR for second. Fifty for third. Faceless, um, thank you for uh, for. He says, "Cute dog." There's two. <laughs> yep, got two pups. They're they're eating dinner right now, but I would uh, I would bring them on camera. Um, see dogs. So yeah, and, so the, the quiz tomorrow. Uh, Boreas open for alpha testers Monday. No wait, that's Tuesday. Are you kidding me? Tuesday, yep, May fourth. Uh, Boreas is open. I bet it's May. I bet it's May fifth. Is all I'm saying. Could, some of the pictures for Boreas, like there was this one cave. It looks like a gorilla head, 
and uh, like you know its teeth are like in the entryway. Berets is pretty sick. Yeah. Berets is pretty sick. Uh, no, so, I won't look. I'm a true Arcadian. I may have spent too much time in the early uh, part of this year in Arcadia, but I love Notus. I bought a plot by the pyramid and the river. I love it, uh, and I'll be seeing you there. I mean, I'm, I'm half from the sand, okay? Uh, not to give too much away, but I'm half from a place where the pyramids are. So I have a, I have a, uh, you know, I definitely have my heart in, in half in the sand, okay? Uh, so looking forward to Alpha Test um, for Boreas, of course, the final one. More to come on that. I mean, we're, we're so bloody close, Jamie, you know what I mean? Get on with it. May 5th, uh, so I had a quick look at Charlie's stream. Don't really know. I've, I've saved him on the Spotify podcast, but um, yeah, it's something to look forward to on the May 5th. God, it's just jam packed, right? Uh, May 7th. Uh, so, blockchain integration implemented to all lands. So, perhaps we'll be able to. Well, we can't really do much. If we want to pump it with the lava we've, we've got from the gems. Um, and I guess that's all to do with alpha. Mm -hmm. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it would be anything with PYR. On May seventh, but it's like uh, Jim made an announcement about this. Blockchain integration will be mixed into the gameplay. Then there won't like the reward pools and stuff won't be live, of course, but uh, there will be blockchain integration starting from then. And then May tenth is the big date, really. Lots yes, May tenth. Is it going to happen on May tenth? Is what going to happen on May tenth? Is it all going to happen on May tenth? Dude, that, I mean, I, I expect that to be a huge catalyst for the PYR price because now anytime someone's to buy an NFT, they're going to buy PYR instead of going to buy Vichy. I'm saying the date's rock hard, is it? And I think it is. I think, look, you know, with Alpha, maybe, oh, it's a bit, you know, we need a bit of fixing here, but I feel like this is a hard one. This is a rock. This is it's happening on the May 10th. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. It's, it's yeah. I, I think I think it's it's got to go. At least the first Berserk season, you know, and... In the marketplace transition, I'm pretty sure uh, uh, they they could have made the transition to PYR already if they wanted to. They're just waiting for more liquidity to be out there in, in, a, in an exchange, I'm pretty sure. Wow, funny enough, we made it through this whole show without mentioning a centralized exchange once. But there's... Why would you... Stuff. Well, George mentioned it. Oh, did George mention it? Yeah, George, you know, he says, you know, he said a couple of things, but we didn't. Was uh we done well? I think then is that is that is that a sight? What is that like a trigger for success that we didn't mention sex? I think so. No C one C E X by the way, Twitch admins and yeah. all that. Uh, Centralized exchange. Um. All right. Well, which one is it? Go on. Which one is it? Which one is it gonna be? Oh, I uh. Oh, I don't want to hear it. It sounds like you know already. I am almost a hundred percent certain I do know. Okay. But I. Like, I haven't been given any title. This don't. Is speculation. All right, well, don't. You say I'm sure. I, I, I don't know if like you want to say it. I don't think you should. Even if you... Yeah. I don't know. Well, I, will. I, just, I just want it to be safe. But there's definitely... You know, we all know there's centralized exchanges coming. Yeah. So there's definitely some good ones that will be, will be there. Do you want to... So do you want to... Should we try and wrap it up? I'm going to... I'm, I'm, I literally just want to show... I You know, I'd always... Like, I would usually have a follow a day, a sub a month. So I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run through uh, all the supporters, if you don't mind, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. And then anything you wanna like, just let me know. So I'm gonna try my best. So actually, it's uh, it, it, I can do this. So there's been a, a ton of follows in the last few days. Uh, a lot of them probably are not here. So we'll start with the last few hours. Uh, Tom Wells, thanks for the follow. Neswell, thanks for the follow. Crypto, see this. Imagine doing this. Imagine truly doing this. You know, you could... This is the way forward. So, Neswall, thanks for the follow. Crypto. Um, Kadik, again, thanks for the Prime subscription. Neswall, thanks for gifting the one to Muck T. Uh, Chambers, thanks for the subscription. Chambers, a tier one sub to Tobleton. Sir Tobleton is a good friend of mine. Um, he's not yet onboarded into the Vulcan verse or Vulcan Forge ecosystem, but that is soon to come all my mates not going to have a bloody chance, I'll tell you that. Uh, it'll be a condition of speaking to me. Uh, Jamie, Vulcan bloke, the Jamie CEO. Happy Jamie. birthday, by the way. Not anymore, so we can we don't have to say that anymore, right? We can just get oh, on with, get oh, get to work. It's only 7 p.m. for me here, but yeah, I guess in... Uh... In Greece, it's past that. So, Jamie, thanks for the 100 bits. 
Um, oh, and Jamie gifted a sub then to uh, J- uh, Walter gave, gifted a sub to Jamie. Jamie then cheers a hundred, another hundred bits. Um, Coddle Queen, subscribe. Thank you for the subscription. Bake Not Fried, a good friend of mine. Check him out. BakeNotFried.com. Uh, Sir Drinks cheered a three hundred bits. Uh, Hey. and uh arcadian with a ten dollar donation big up um someone anonymous 420 brilliant uh 420 690 nailed it tip 690 love it 69 love to see it uh and kng nation gifted a t1 sub to jd 130g big up i really appreciate that i think that's just i think i think that's just nothing you know just got to show you some respect for doing that um we you know we would do this for free obviously we are doing it for free uh, we'll do pay to, pay to chat later on when when we've uh, you know when we're too important to speak to. What do you think? Yeah, quick quick love to everyone in chat. Leop, Walt Chambers, Sir Drinks, King J, KNG Nation, Sir Tobleton, oh, J- JD's in here hanging out. Uh, Faceless, Lumpy, Dio did, Cottle Queen, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. If I, you know, lots see lots of you guys in the chat. This was really really fun. I can't lie. I was expecting it to be fun, but super fun. Uh, really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. There'll be plenty, plenty more of these uh, to come in the future. Me and Tanka have a lot of uh, fun stuff we're going to be doing with Vulcanverse, Vulcan Forge. Uh, and so really appreciate you guys coming in and, and hanging out with us for our first episode. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Anything you want to kick us off with, Tanka? Um, I guess I needed an outro. Uh, you know, I'm a man of intros, not outros, it seems. Uh, well, have you not got the word yet? <laughs> it is. I feel like it's, it was pretty easy to get the word, but. Maybe, um, uh... I t- let, let, okay, so let, let me just do one thing, guys. Just hold on one second. So we're still looking for that word, right? Oh, I've just lost all the screens. I don't know what's happening. Um, hold fire, guys. Hold fire. We're we back again, right? Did it? Did okay, something happen? You'll get the word somewhere. We'll did, get it to you. did something happen? So you want, okay. So the last thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to give you, I'm going to I'm going to hide the word in a sentence, right? Um, but how I'm going to do it? Um, now, this uh, the giveaway. Don't forget the giveaway. Send the giveaway about supporting the creators. There's a lot of people that will do it out of love or do it, and you know I think. A bit philosophical for you, Mike T. I think we spend a lot of time um, in general telling people what we don't like. You know, if you've had a great meal or service, you'll just expect that. Um, so please tell yeah. and show support for people that have done you good, reviews, whatever. But in, in, in this ecosystem, uh, supporting the creators. Now, what I'm going <laughs> to... Just hold on. I'm just trying to prepare. I'm, I'm so, so new to this. Frozen for some reason um let me have a look oh what happened that's a bit weird that's quite annoying hold on let me uh... there we go we're back again so um there is a guy that i watch a lot of the time um and i've learned a lot of him i started streaming because of him uh he's not a big streamer um and big up odin for the subscription Wait for the word, guys. Um, and I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll be cheeky about it. Okay. I'm going to raid this guy, this friend of mine. And I just want you to say hello to him. Uh, his name's Jezza. And uh, I will put in the word in that stream for you. Just say hello. He plays games. This is a guy, by the way, that's not crypto much. And I think it's a very hard challenge. A lot of people know I do crypto. But they just there's this hard barrier, and I'm trying to break that down with friend groups of mine. It's very difficult. But a lot of people are very close minded to it for whatever reason. Don't well, know. it's a big deal. But in 20 years, it's the norm. You'll be able to buy your groceries. But I'm going to raid Jezza, and I'm going to put the word in that stream in about 30 seconds, um, and then uh, just say hello and say you, where you came from. All right. I love you, lot. Got yeah. Rich Viking with the sub. Big up, Rich Viking. Big up Glitch Viking. Big up. Now that's a up. send off right there. The GV sub. Big up. Big up. So, yeah, I'm going to send them off. Um, so, yeah, Muxy, we're raiding. It basically sends everyone over. I'm sure you know about it. And I'll put yes. the word in the next channel. 
just say hello to my friend Jezza. He's a real nice guy. Um, you may not be interested in the gaming, but just hang around for that minute uh, to catch the word. Good night from me, Tanker. Cheers, guys. This was so much fun. We'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Next week. Yes. Your turn, Mutsi. Good night. Yes. Later, guys. We might have him for a few more seconds. I'm not sure how it works, really. But okay. yeah, check. That was a really fun, Tanker. It was amazing. Yeah, you, you enjoy it. So we're raiding yeah. Jezza now. Are we still? Uh, we, I think we're. Oh, now it's off. Okay, nice. Okay, so watch, watch Jezza. This is my friend, by the way, and like it just felt right. Okay. I'm gonna say in all, all caps, Tanker raid. Is it raid? Twenty-four. Tanker raid. Man. Madness. Raid. Hey. <laughs> how was how hey. was the podcast? Take it with the sub. Take a road. Welcome it? everyone. I'm Jezza. Oh, he knew about our um, podcast. He just asked. Yeah. yeah. I don't do all the things Tanker does, but I try to entertain. How is everyone? How was how was Tanker's um how was his podcast? Thank you for the follow. Be faithful. Accent is great. I don't know. I don't know. So, so okay. Stuff like this is very important to me. Yeah, this is awesome. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Yeet in here as well, so people can now see. Press Yeet. Just, I can't send Yeet. I'm. Podcast great. Good. Good to hear. I don't expect anything else from you, thank you. JDI three of. Thank you for the follow. So yeah, I, I remember I was in uh, someone's Discord. We'll hang out for five minutes. A bit of chill time, yeah. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, but, this is fun. Um, he's, he's very happy with the host. Well, he he gets less than ten viewers. Sometimes he'll get more. Certainly more successful than me. Which is but he's not in the server at the moment. Uh, dude, we we had a. I was surprised with the amount of people we had in there, dude. We we barely dipped below thirty viewers. Like we were at twenty seven, twenty eight for a bit, but we had we were at forty plus for a little piece of while. That was that was awesome. So can you get the recording then, Tanka, for YouTube, or how how does that work? Because I don't. It's two hours long. I don't even know if we can upload that to YouTube. It was great. Good. 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 I'd... I was out at barbecue, so I'm sorry, but everyone's following. It's fucking sick. Like normally you can raid and that everyone fucks off. So like when you send yeah, a raid, you've got to explain because it's not playing a game you want. Yeah, no, th this was so nice of you dude, to do this. Yeah, this is awesome. Well, we we should we will close every stream with giving. Thank you, everyone. Much appreciated. Glad you are here. He's playing the boring, boring, most boring game of this game, anyway. Daisy, I've not played this game before, but yeah, it looks like he's uh, cooking some steak. <laughs> cooking some steak on a stick, though. Does that give you a buff or something? This is Daisy. Not heard of yeah, it before. I've, right. I've heard of it. I haven't played it. He, uh, doing hmm? podcast about no, we're, we wrapped up. Me and Tanker, he, we raided this guy. The puppies do? Okay. Tanker, I'm uh, I'm about to go take my dogs out. They have to go potty. Apparently, we're gonna have some dinner then. But dude, what a, what a great show! That was that was really fun, man. And we'll we'll keep building on this. You know. Your turn next time, motherfucker. <laughs> You're, I'm gonna need to hop in call with you so I can get my all my shit set up. And also, we should we'll download uh Vimex. Vimex. I feel like that'd be pretty nice for us too. So we'll, yeah. we'll get that. But all right, Tanka, I'll I'll be in touch very soon, man. This will definitely well take success. Well played, man. Well played. All right, man. See, Talk to you soon. See you later, man. Later. A raid, another raid. I've been like, I've had so many raids the past few days. It's been great, but I much massively appreciate it. Thank you, Tanker. Um, Forest Day. Uh, so I haven't played for us. I haven't played the Forest. I haven't played Grounded or Rust. I've, I've literally. So I mainly used to play um, Escape from Tarkov, which Tanker played. But I've really, 
I'm really fed up with it at the moment. I have been for uh, for a while, and I haven't. I, I've been playing this now. This is our hit side. No one will is that me? Um, I've been playing this. I played this. I got this in Jan. Uh, no, December. And me and Tanker played it for a little bit, and then I stopped playing. Played uh, Escape from Tarkov again, and I picked this up again like three weeks ago. 